All right. Well, let's see what this is about. I can't believe they made me fucking wait like what? D didn't they announce that goddamn showcase like a week before before it even before they even like put it up? Only for like a 30 minute announcement of like the game's releasing and we're we're having a multiplayer thing and then Here's a trailer. There wasn't really that much information. All right. <clears throat> Let me get my microphone fixed up. Let's see. English. English. Yes. Surround sound? No. Let's just do... Let's just do TV for the people who... Have, eh. Eh, maybe. No, nah, we'll do TV. Fuck it. Adjusting to it's barely visible. Cool. All the way up. There we go. Who the fuck's ever, ever read this shit? No one does. Watch it be like, if you stream this game, we have the right to, to anally probe you. And you're like, yeah, sure, whatever. All right, copyright. Look at that. That's important. Now you can't attack me if you want to sue me. Now I'm safe. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's move on with our lives. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Just the ca casual, yeah, whatever. At least they left me some food. The game is just quiet. Is it? It's just a quiet-ass game, isn't it? Yep. Dynamic range. Large. I'm gonna put that to large. I want some sounds. Virtual surround. No, that's good. Graphics. Brightness. HDR mode. I can't record that. Wish I could. Wish I could. Because the HDR on the PS5, it's really good. It like Even if the game that you're playing doesn't support HDR, by default, the PS5 puts HDR. Examine. Some fancy-ass writing. Scrap of paper. To whoever is trying to escape this place, I hope this note will be of some assistance. You don't know me, but you will have to trust me if you want- Trust? Why I say it like that? Trust me if you want to survive. First, you need to get out of the cell. Look around for a way to get on- Uh, wait. Look around for the way. Get on your hands and knees if you must. Then search for the thing you need to escape. It will be hidden where they'll least suspect. Soaked in blood. What's that smell? <laughs> it's blood. Once you get out of dungeon, you should find yourself in a room. The door there won't lead to salvation. The light will lead you down the right path. You must hit a dead end, but do not give up. There should be a way to proceed hidden somewhere. Once you find the ladder, the only way up, the only way is up. But watch out. Don't let them see you. I plan to make my escape tonight and pray that you too make it out alive. So I'm just going to assume that Ethan wrote this and just crumpled it up and went here, motherfucker. All right. At least they gave me a shit box. It's better than a bucket. Get on my hands and knees. What the fuck was that noise? Oh, that was me. That was me jingling the jangle. All right, how do I crouch? There we go. Oh, look at that. This is an oversight and a half. I got no fear. Is this just opened? Oh, fuck this. <laughs> oh, fuck this. We're doing it already. He said, he said, don't head towards the door. Head towards the light. Picture. Medicines for keeping livestock alive. I guess I'm the livestock. 
What did this shit say? All right. Once you get out the dungeon, find yourself in a room. The door there won't find salve. Okay. So once I get out of the dungeon, whew. oh fuck this. This is not. There's, there's a chain. Okay. It's really unsettling when there's... Oh! That's just a body! I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with you. You're, you're good, man. You're good. Or man, madam. This is some... Some... Freaky shit right here. Okay. Let me out. How do I? What? Oh. It's locked. The fuck is that noise? <sighs> oh no. Oh man. I just got out the dungeon. Soaked in blood. Oh, you just slumped over. That's why. You seem to got something in your back there. Mind if I just take that? Thank you. That'll be very useful for me. Fuck. Motherfucker, I just jumped so hard out of my chair. God damn it. They did that shit in the, in the old demo, with the goddamn baby falling from the ceiling. The little doll. It's like a fucking head's gonna fall out, or some shit. Oh. I got a lockpick. Nice. What's behind me? Something's gonna jump out at me. That's a noise. Time for me to get out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. J just open it. J get me the fuck out of here. Okay. This is too fucked up. I think I gotta put the brightness up. Because I'm looking at the uh, the playback and it seems pretty dark. For the capture card. Let me see. Maybe if I put it to like that. See, how does that look? On the capture card. Uh... Maybe that'll look better. Yeah, that looks better. For the capture card. Alright. Oh. My fucking hand just moved. Okay. It said, don't let them see you. You stay in that fucking barrel, you bitch. Stink so bad. What stinks so bad? Oh, you mean like spaghetti and blood? Yeah, that's fine. It's in this fucking box. Oh, something's gonna scare me. Okay. All right. Let me just look at my directions again. The light will lead you down the right path. Okay, you might hit a dead end, but it's hidden. Once you find the ladder, go up. 
Plan to make my escape tonight. Okay. God, something's gonna jump out at me. I'm not ready for it. Look at that wall. Look at that wall in front of me. Like something's about to just bust through it. The fucking Kool-Aid man. Oh, look at this. Okay. That's just a fucking bucket full of... What is that? Is that bugs or is that rocks? Found my ladder. Don't let them see you. They're gonna see me immediately. <sighs> Fuck. I don't like this. <laughs> I so don't like this. All right. Nice place you got here. A necklace. Nice little shindig you got here. Made of animal bones. Like a bird skull or some shit. Used to ward off evil. It was taken from me when I was thrown in the dungeon. So my character is into the supernatural, it seems. <laughs> That's okay. Do what you gotta do, you know? Don't let him see me. Don't let who see me. Is someone hiding behind these curtains like a fucking child? They just open up there like peekaboo. I'm on, I'm on full crouch mode right now. There's two doors. Which one do I go through? Oh no. This door leads to death. I feel it. Oh, it's locked. Someone opened that door. That wasn't me. It couldn't have been me. I'm all the way over here. Fuck you and your sounds. Oh boy, this was the hallway from the trailer. You know? Where the bug lady starts walking down. She's like, shoot. I just saw a bug fly in front of me. It's over. She saw me. It's over. I just saw a fucking bug fly past me. I heard a fucking... Oh, that's that door. Alright. I heard a door closed. You're just waiting to get me. You're just waiting to get me. Oh, that's a normal door. Getting a lot of uh, Beauty and the Beast vibes from this one. You know, all you gotta do is just go to your happy place, right? It'll all be fine. It'll all work out. What if I just got like a full ass like... Not even just like a jump scare, but like a Five Nights at Freddy jump scare. Like full on, just like Foxy just starts running down the hall. <laughs> screaming and clawing. <laughs> Fuck you laughing about? She laughed at me because I went the wrong way. She's like, uh-uh, that's the way towards your death. 
some dark ass hallways. God, I don't want to go through this door. I don't want to go through any door. It's locked. What sucks is that it's not even like a button to press the doors. You have to like shove your face in it. And then they interact with it. Why was this glowing? Was that not glowing? Am I crazy? Oh, it's just the shadows bouncing off of it like a bitch. It's a dead end. You gonna attack me now? Something hidden in this in this painting of a guy and his horse. This is bullshit. It's not even like music or anything to calm me down. It's not even... Like, give me some Scooby-Doo-ass music. You know when they're like... The old Scooby-Doo when they're looking for clues and shit? They got like the trombone in the background and shit. I call bullshit. That's what I call. That's impossible. Alright. Candidates. Irene. Mikolai. Lois. Rejects. I'm not reading all those names. What the fuck is that name right there? L Ludemilia? I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce that. But no. Not Gabriel. That was my dude. Gabriella. Gabriel. These looks like clothes I'm wearing. Ho. Oh. Oh. Ho. Can I see my body? No, I can't. Can I take the music box? Is this even a music box? Or like a ashtray of some sort? Are they growing the... I guess that's just the pot. I thought they were growing, growing the plant in blood. It's locked. Okay. Do I have a run button? I do. This is my, this is my walk. Actually, hold up, no. This is my walk. This is my jog. And this is my run. <laughs> Saunterly jog. I just want to see if there's anything back here. You know, for like fucking months when they did the Resident Evil 7 demo, they're like, what is this finger? What does the finger do? Got a coin? It's an empty drawer. You're gonna attack me the moment I get to this door, aren't you? Hello? Well, that's just not... That's just not nice. You know what really... What's really interesting about this? It's a big house. It's a big estate. Just like Resident Evil 7. But instead of having everything be like dirty and muggy, everything is pretty much uh, pristine. So once you see something dirty, you're like, that's, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. Listen, I just, I just need that first initial scare so then I can get my second wind. Like a Borderlands character. And then I'm, I'm all good, right? Well, obviously, this needs a fucking lock and key. No. Yeah. Don't worry, I got my animal charm with me. It will protect me. Nothing down there. Look, it's freedom. Just outside your reach. You can't get there. What do you mean it's locked? Oh, get the fuck out of here. What do you mean it's locked? I'm gonna go back and like a door's gonna. I think I just heard a door open. Right, I'll be this fucking door downstairs. Are you open? Did you open yourself? No, it's still locked. 
Okay. I didn't try this door. I don't think I did, did I? Okay. Back upstairs I go. I hope I don't have to go back downstairs in the dungeon because there there was one cell that I didn't open because it had like a hanging body in it. And I don't wanna I don't wanna go in there. Also, they were making funny noises. Like something was gonna attack me. And I don't want that happening. Sure I can't interact with you? Please don't make me go back down to the dungeon. I really don't want to go back down to the dungeon. It was creepy. I feel safer up here, even though this is where I'm the least safe. Huh. Okay. Right now, I'm just thinking of everything that can possibly go wrong. Like, what if this demo just runs on a timer? Right? And the jump scares don't happen until the timer just runs out and it's all like instant death. And it's like, haha, I got you, you're dead now. Is there something on the table? Oh. Murmuring. Okay. I know where that's going. I'm gonna get jump scared right through this door. I'm just waiting for it. Any moment now. I saw that. Someone was walking up them steps. I was like, what the hell is that noise <laughs> in my goddamn ear? Someone's just taking a taking a nice walk up the steps, huh? Like, don't mind me. I'm gonna get they're just gonna take my head and bang it into the door. You can't use this here. What the fuck you mean I can't? shape gym. Can I take the eye out? Yeah, I can. Okay. The fucking... The eye of Sauron. It stares at you unwavering. Where's my ring? What if Sauron sounded like Ned Flanders? You unlocked it. Great. You have sealed your fate. You're gonna die soon. Oh my... It is the esteemed, not Chad Wellington, but his cousin, Steve Wellingstein. The fifth. What kind of fucking wine we got here? Okay. Okay. Regina Rose. Nice. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimit Dimitri oh God, Demetrius or Demetrius Demetrius wherever the fuck Demetrius I don't I'm not prim and proper I can't read it can be traced as far back as the 15th century long before the current occupations of the castle whatever your fuck name your name is uses the legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it and bestow it with a thick bo bo uh, banquet. Okay, banquet, whatever. Her best vintage is... Uh, so many big words. Means maiden's blood. I'm the maiden. I have blood. That's cool. It's kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with silver flowers. Okay. Is it in here? Nope. Courtyard key.
the fuck? It's just pictures of human skulls. Looks like there's an angsty teen that lives around here somewhere. I'm watching. You know... She says she's watching me. The moment I opened my mouth, she's like, I'm watching you. Like, oh, how dare you? Okay, well, like I was saying before I got interrupted, I was going to say, you know what's really weird? Oh! Go! Oh, shit! I'm still alive. I gotta get to the courtyard. Don't touch me. Can't use that here. What? Does that not lead to the courtyard? She did not just give up like that. She's toying with me. Guess the other big door is the courtyard. But as I was gonna say, before my jugular was ripped out, I was gonna say, I'm <laughs> plot twist here. They're the ones who gave me the note and told me to escape. They're just playing with their food. That's what they're doing. Oh yeah, she's playing with me. What the fuck? Courtyard key? The key for the door from the castle's dining hall. What? <laughs> He's like, thank you. Thank you, I Baseball. Did you want big follows? Use the fucking key. Oh. I guess I... Oh, shit! <laughs> You're a big lady. I'm not into this freaky shit. Oh, fuck. Alright. That was pretty short. No wonder why I took fucking... <laughs> no wonder why I took, like, a minute to download. That was a- that's a big-ass lady. She tall as fuck. She got Freddy Cougar claws. Okay, so that's why they call it visual demo, because there's no actual... I mean, they did that for RE7, right? It was like... The first demo that came out, you just kind of meandered and look around. And then later on, they updated to where there's like more shit to look at. Then they were like, here's a gun. You can fight in it. You can fight one enemy. If you do it perfect, you get a coin or some shit. And if you don't do it perfect, you just beat the game. Or the demo, whatever. Huh. I miss demos too. I wish there was more demos. I remember when, uh, back when I cared about Naruto, um, and Naruto Storm 2 was coming out. And I was like, God, I was so hyped for that game. And it's, boss fight's pretty fucking good. But they put out the demo where you fight Kakashi, the first boss fight in the game. And then fucking, I played that shit so many times. I played it so many damn times. Alright, well, fuck. I thought the demo would be longer than that, but... Well, now that that's over, I got fucking, what? Like, three more, three more hours to fucking stream? What shall I do? That was nice.
I like that. I wish we had more demos though. I need to I need to play through Final Fantasy X so I can unlock all the outbed prime alphas. So whenever I record that, we can hear the outbed language and shit. I was playing Resident Evil Four before this. <clears throat> Actually, let's yeah. do some Resident Evil Four. Fuck it. Why not? I'll change the the game that's being streamed here, so they don't attack me, so they don't kill me. That demo was more laid back. It was more laid back than the Resident Evil 7 demo. Which is interesting. Cause even in the early stages of the Resident Evil 7 demo, they went they went pretty fucking hard. <laughs> We've been liking the horror game theme. I love horror games. I love horror games, I love horror movies. Right now, it seems like horror movies are finally going through their own renaissance. Because, uh... Like, I, I think after, like, the... Which came first? Was it the remake of, um... Of Friday 13th or fucking Nightmare on Elm Street? Were they both 2010? I think Nightmare on Elm Street was 2012. For the remake. Or like the reboot. But like pretty much after that time, no one wanted to make horror movies. And I think it was because everyone was scared of the shit that was going on with um the Friday the thirteenth licensing and shit. Alright, well. By the way, here's Resident Evil 4. I want to do a future playthrough of this, but before I do that, I need to beat the game on this goddamn console so I can unlock the costumes and shit. And that's pretty much what I was doing today. <laughs> that's all I did today, which is play this and listen to some podcasts. Um, fuck. I also forgot that the Killer 7 was a goddamn weapon for like a Magnum, so I fully upgraded the Broken Butterfly like a goddamn idiot. I wish there was more slashers too, man. I just, just, I was so, I was so happy with, um, like, let's be honest, who the fuck really watches MTV nowadays, but, like, when MTV went like, hey man, we're doing a Scream series, and I was like, okay, that's cool, season one went by, bam, that was nice, then season two, oh shit, okay, that's pretty nice, motherfucker. Then they had the special, and what was, I think it was like 20, what was it, 2018, 2019? They were like, they were like, Scream Season 3. It has nothing to do with the cast that we know and love. It's just a new one. It's just a reboot because we don't know what the hell happened. It's like, come on, man. Come on. Why, why ruin it? Like, it, Scream wasn't... Like, the series wasn't that good, but it was still interesting. And then they're like, here's a fucking reboot for season three. Even though we gave you a cliffhanger on the shitty special that they had. Which I don't know why they did that special. That special was weird. Like, like you have a guy, like, I'm, I'm gonna spoil the special, right? But let's be honest, they kind of spoiled it themselves the moment you meet the character who turns out to be the villain. Because he literally just goes up to the girl, the, the main survival girl, and he just goes, You and I are alike, more than you know. But I have like a deep, dark secret. And right off the bat, the moment he said that, I guessed the whole entire ending of that stupid special. And I was like, You suck. <laughs> I was like, You suck. This special sucked. It was really bad. It was fun to watch, but it was really bad. It also had nothing to do with Scream. Gotta, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to seeing the fucking regenerators. I think that's the only enemy in this game that scares me is the Iron Maidens and the goddamn regenerators. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, at least that's one thing that Scream, the MTV series, did good, is that none of it was paranormal. 
It was just like, yeah, no, it was a fucked up dude just killing people. That guy, he's like, you're gonna die. And fucking... I don't know, man, they just kinda... They, like, really... They really fucked up that, uh... They fucked up that series. By pulling that shit. I think it was just cause, like, the writer left or some bullshit. Let me see. Check. Shotgun ammo. Beautiful. Oh, it's a herb. Nice. I'll take that. Cans and jars are non-perishable. Reminds me of the days of the oh yeah, of the O R E. Where you at, big boy? Oh, come on! It's covered in maggots. Oh! Mow that motherfucker down! <laughs> he said, "Help me! I'm on fire!" I said, "I'll help you with a bullet." And so, of course, nothing scarier than real life. Yeah, <laughs> true. Dude, I like you know what really sucks for me personally. Man, it's dirty. Oh, what gave what gave it away? Was it the dirty water or the maggots floating inside of it? I love, I love how there's that, and then there's fucking rubber gloves, like, Oh, you gotta keep, you gotta keep it sanitary in here. Like, really? I think we're far beyond that. Leon! I got you, Ashley. Don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm coming, baby girl. I got you. Oh! This is Mad Max, motherfucker. Fuck out of my face. Bust your goddamn kneecaps. How's that for metal, bitch? Alright, Ashley, calm down. What the fuck? Someone else coming near me? Are you in here? Coming to save you, baby girl. Ashley. Aw, it's just a recording. You worked in a kitchen that looked like that? We we can't we can't show this on Twitch. <laughs> That's too much. Like in the restaurants I worked at, I never like some some of the kitchens may have been dirty from time to time, but they were never they were never terribly dirty. It was just like it was just like, come on guys, wipe it a little bit more thoroughly next time. Gotta get everything spick and span. But I don't want to spend three hours after my shift. Oh, well. You paid overtime minimum wage. Where the fuck is this Ganado-ass motherfucker? What the hell? Where is this dude? Is he through the door? Oh, he's just down there hanging out. Is there anything down there for me? Bring on Mad Max, you bitch. What the fuck? Oh, a dude just shot me through the bars. Okay, well, fuck you, buddy. Damn. Been in greasier places. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Don't you dare, you son of a bitch. Alright, you're done. Now I got you. Oh, shit. 
someone else is down here. You really try to jump me, you bitch. Can you fucking, can you die? Want to see something cool? Damn it. Damn it. Come on, guys. I'm trying to be cool here. Just work with me. All right. Well, you died. You died. Okay. Suplex! Just casually suplex a motherfucker. All right. Just stab him. He's weak. Oh, fuck. Shot him in the leg. His head exploded. Oh, no. I hate those things. This is the thing that I'm not looking forward to in Resident Evil 4 Remake. I don't want to see that thing. Fucking, it's going to start crawling on the ground and shit. Not having it. Not having it. Not having it. Not having it. No. No. No, you don't, motherfucker. God, I hate shit like that. Oh, fuck. Is there a snake in one of these barrels? Nope. But it's the good shit. That's that good shit. <laughs> What's that? That is what we call a... F I think that's a fully evolved Las Plagas. Which is a parasite. <laughs> he said, what the fuck is that? That's what I said when I played the game. That's the only form of the Las Plagas that, like, detaches from its host and fucking runs around. And I hate those things. There's not too many of them in the game, but they're bas they're just like super face huggers. By the way, face huggers are fucking creepy, and I hate them. Beautiful. All right. What in the world were they eating? Dog food, it seems like. Alright, time to go save Ashley. Did I really run out of fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry about your spell mistakes. Remember Vampire the Masquerade? <laughs> I couldn't write the word home. Mainly because I was typing in the dark, but still. She's used to having nightmares. You know, you know what's really, you know, what's really, what's really sacrilege right now? I believe that's the word I'm looking for. I never saw aliens. I never saw aliens. Never, ever, ever. Any of them. I know what the xenomorph is, right? He's the fighting character from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> Got some rare things on sales. I played I played a little bit of uh, Alien Isolation. What are you buying? What are you selling? What are you selling? Do I really have nothing to sell him right now? I don't think I'm gonna find all these fucking beads for the goddamn elegant mask and shit. What are you buying? Tactical the oh. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Give me that shit. Not enough cash, stranger. All right, well, fuck it. Get rid of the elegant headdress. I'm never going to find the rest of those. Yes, that is all. Thank you. And I'm missing... I'm missing one of the one of the things for the crown, and I think, I think I'm not going to get it. Thank you. What are you buying? That fucking grass, motherfucker. Still not enough? Are you kidding me? Are you Why the fuck did I ever upgrade the goddamn broken butterfly? Ah. <laughs> Thank you. You know what really bothers me? I love Resident Evil 4, right? I like it. It's a good game. Why am I why did I go to upgrade? Give me that fucking vest, motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Right? What I really don't like about this fucking merchant, right? Everyone loves the merchant from Resident Evil 4. It's hard to not like him. But 
every time you work, you walk in one of his shops, what do you see him surrounded by? A bunch of fucking ammo, right? So why can't I buy ammo from him? Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Makes no sense. He's like, what are you buying? I'll have some of those bullets that you're sitting next to. No. What the fuck? Oh. You motherfuckers. I think y'all slick. You think you fucking clever. Ah. Oh. I missed. The bullet sway really fucks me up here. Did I say bullet sway? I meant fucking... Like, you know, the gun sway. Also, him flinching every five seconds. There we go. I don't even think I shot him. He's wearing a helmet, so I gotta get body shots off of him. Aw, oh, shit. Really fucking me up here. Blow up. Well, he's dead now. Shit. Yeah, you can't buy ammo from him because it's like- OH! <laughs> what kind of fucking Indiana Jones shit was that? Oh man, I don't remember- I don't remember the back end. This is the third act of the game. I don't remember too much about it. But what the fuck, man? I don't want to use my grenade, because that's big damage, right? That's big money damage. Come on, motherfuckers. Good shit. Leon S. Kennedy, motherfucker. D am I using the broken butterfly? God damn it. That was my magnum. And I missed one of the shots. Are you still shooting shit? Motherfucker. Shoot you through the wall, you bitch. Oh, you scaredy motherfucker. How dare you. He wasn't even ready. He was reloading, bitch. Next time, try to get a drop on me. Make sure you got a fucking bolt in the crossbow. Fucking idiot. Fucking moron. Oh, look, it's TMP ammo. Fuck that. Oh, shit. I knew I heard your dumbass. Now you get suplexed. Got him. Alright, was there anything? Yes, there was. God, I love this vest. I love this vest so much. Got no ammo for the fucking Red Nine. Save point. Rusted pocket watch. Okay. I came from... Did I come from this door? This is the door I came from. Okay, then what the fuck is over here? I think this is locked for right now, right? Is this the freezer? Yeah, you gotta unlock it. That's the freezer. That's where the regenerator's coming. Typewriters. Beautiful. Alright. This is a quick jump down for me. Alright, cool. Yeah, this is definitely where regenerators come in. But we gotta get Ashley first, right? I believe I gotta get Ashley first.
Oh. There's no way I run into the regenerators before I run into Ashley. Are you serious? I run into the regenerators first. Are you fucking serious? Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think this one comes to life. Also, it's really not nice how close the goddamn camera is. It's actually pretty confusing. It's locked. Something inside the room must be blocking the door. Like what, a dead body? I think there is an actual dead body blocking the door. No, it doesn't seem like it. It's locked. Operate it. Ta oh, fucking puzzles. My bad, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh my god. The puzzles in this game is not that hard. But like... By the way, this is where they're doing experiments with the Lust, Lust Plagas and shit. So, they're, they're dead, but like... They were like, how does the Los Plagas get into its host when it's like not not a baby parasite egg? And here's a file on all that shit. This talks about the regenerators. Uh, hideous creatures of the, uh, such as the El Gigante and Novus... Uh, I don't even know how to say those names. Big giant bug creatures that we fought earlier in the game. Uh, but there's one type of creature that clearly distinguishes itself from the rest. These creatures are called regenerators. They come in two forms. Regenerators and... Iron Maidens. An Iron Maiden is basically just a regenerator with like fucking metal ass needles sticking out of it. They are the most terrifying enemy in this game because as they name as their name suggests, they regenerate. <laughs> and and you cannot you can kill them. Right? If you have a uh, like a grenade or a fucking or a goddamn um Whatchamacallit? You have a grenade or a... Oh! There he is! Let's go! Now I'm trying to remember. Right? Fucking shit. There's somewhere in the game... Where you can get a... Uh... Oh, there's another one in here. Where you can get a fucking... There he is. Where you can get a uh, infrared scope, and it shows you. Yeah, where is it? Ah, oh, fuck! I think this is locked. Yeah, that's locked. Oh, here's the room. Okay, yeah, this is the room. You can get a free infrared scope. I don't think this works, does it? Oh, yeah, okay, this just re rewrites the data on the thing. Nope. Um, let's see. Over here, they were doing research on the... on the regenerators. So, like, you can see all the fucked up failed attempts that they had with it. Especially this one at the end. Like, really fucked up. It's moving, too. But I think in here, it's completely frozen. I gotta defrost the room. You get a free, uh, you get a free infrared scope, which lets you see the parasites on the regenerator's bodies. So you can, um, so you can knock them all off so they don't regenerate and just die instantly. I think there's a regenerator in this room somewhere, once I unfree shit. I think it comes off the hook or some shit. There you go. 
Doors unlocked. Yep, it's that one. He's like, I'm free! Time to cause some damage. Time for me to get the fuck out. Won't open. So this is supposed to be like a makeshift tutorial for you. Alright. Now where you at, bad boy? Oh, I suck at aiming with this shit. Just like that. I missed. There we go. And then they're done. So that's pretty much how you deal with those guys. But sometimes they put fucking, uh... Sometimes they put them on... They put the parasites on, like, the back of the creature. And it's really hard to get behind them once they start walking towards you. Because, fuck that, right? It's an emerald. Alright, I need to get past you. Aw, oh, fuck me. And the other one's, like, walking up. Because there's two in this room. Aw, oh, come on. Cool. Let me get the fuck out of here. I hate it so much, I know. That that's why they're the most terrifying enemy, because they're just basically the fucking Terminator walking up to you. There's nothing you can do about it besides hit them with this gun that has a slow rate of fire, unless you upgrade it, but it's not really worth upgrading this gun. Because you only use it for, like, long range. This is the only instance in the game where you use close range. Operate the crane? Yes. I missed. Damn it. Oh, he's gonna come towards the door now. There you go, buddy. Aw, oh, come on. I guess I can't get them because they're crouching now. I knew there was a way to, like, knock them off or something. But I fucked it up. Nope, I got them. Oh, fuck, they're coming towards the door. Alright, bring it on, motherfucker. You think you a big boy? Bring it on, bitch. That's what you thought. Nope. All right. I love how I have more ammo for my shotgun than I do for... It's a waste dump. Maybe it leads to the lower levels. I have more ammo for my shotgun than I do my main gun, which is the handgun. The Red Nine! Some people prefer the blacktail, but I say those people can rot in hell. Cause bitch, I'm on red nine. Let's see. Security switch for the door. The flash grenade. Alright, I'm coming to get you. Can that hurt me? I don't think that can hurt me. Coming for you, Ashley. Don't worry, baby girl, I got you. Oh, look at the Mad Max motherfuckers. They're like you did. Oh, fuck! Alright, calm down, Ashley. I'm here. Just give me a moment. I got this. Take care of some business.
I got you, baby girl. Oh, it's locked. I'll come back for you. I think this room has a fucking regenerator in it somewhere. Or like it appears out of nowhere or some shit. Again, I don't remember much about the final act of this game. Shut up. My man just ate a sh whole entire shell. Okay. But you still tripping. Oh! <gasps> Fucking bootleg Captain America. Get out of here. Don't you touch me. Oh, fuck. Which one of you motherfuckers threw that shit? Ah! Oh no, you didn't throw nothing, you just transformed. Hit the ground. Good shit. I'm fucking Leon S. Kennedy and don't you goddamn forget it. Get the hell out of my face. Goddamn. Windows Defender. Talking about, hey man, it only it's only when I stream it just goes, hey man, you want to protect shit from viruses and shit, man? Like, can you leave me alone? I already have virus protection, not from your weak ass, but come on, man. What are these X-rays showing? What are they showing? I can't tell. They're so low res. Like, Leon's just like, oh, he's like, oh, the resolution on these are fucking terrible. How's my health looking for, like, oh, I got one more pit to, like, upgrade. Never upgrade, never upgrade Ashley's health, ever. Keep that in mind. There's gotta be something down here. Shotgun ammo. They're just giving me a lot of shotgun ammo. They're like, you know what, your, your pistol's nice, handy, and dandy. But don't worry about that shit. Bam. Give me the good shit. They're gonna put like fucking three regenerators in this room or some shit. They're like, here's a here's a save point, just in case you fuck it up, you loser. Oh nope, that's an Iron Maiden. Yep. Where'd he come from? Oh, there he is. We got you got four on you all in the front. Good. Oh, give me a moment. Give me a moment! He tried to lunge at me. You bitch. I wonder if the Flash can kill all the parasites on him. Nope, just makes him flinch. Alright, well. I got an extra grenade. That did nothing? Are you serious? Take that from you. Thank you very much. Storage room key. Oh, TMP ammo. Useless ass gun. Some people love the TMP. I say those people can rot in hell. There's a special 10th circle for them. Okay, what's in here? Oh, here's bullets for the enemy that we're going to throw at you now. I guess I could freeze it too. Is this... hell you want me to jump over for? Well, I mean, I know why you want me to jump over, but why? What, what's over there? What do I need? Something's gonna jump out of nowhere. I feel it. 
pill in my bones. You know what's really weird? I never understood why people didn't like... A lot of people didn't like the Resident Evil 3 remake. And I guess... I guess maybe it's because they thought it used too many... Reused too many assets from like 2. Like the second remake, but... I liked it. Except for the scene with the, all the fucking spiders and shit. The only part of the game that I truly hated was that. The rest of it was great. I liked it. I liked it all. I should go get Ashley, right? I think I gotta get Ashley first for this. Before this, right? And then run back or something. Yeah, but I hate spiders, man. They're terrible. They're terrible. Only spider I mess with is spider man. I got two yellow herbs. Are you fucking kidding me? Nice. Only spider I mess with is spider man. And the spider from Monster Musume because she's hot. And I like her. But like, but the ones in, uh, once Resident Evil 3 Remake, they're like mutated spiders. Which, honestly, it's, it's better that they did that than what they did in the original games where they're like, where they're like, here's just a giant fucking tarantula crawling on your screen. And not even, not even like, not even like crawling in the area, like literally on top of your screen. And I'm like, come on, man, really? All right, let's go get Ashley. I believe this key, I believe she's in the storage room, right? This key should let me get her. Coming for you, baby girl. A lot of people hate Ashley too. And I can see why they hate, oh, okay. I had, I had no time to react to that. I'm gonna be honest, I had zero time. All right, guys, give me a fucking second, damn it. You guys are assholes. Shotgun rain. It's my favorite. There you go. Man, use the black tail. It's a higher rate of fire. Oh yeah, well, Red Nine got more damage, bitch. I'll take more damage over rate of fire any day. Sexy spiders can stay. Yeah, they can. That spider and let's be honest, we all had a crush on the fucking French ass spider from James and the Giant Peach. She's just too hot. You can't you can't say no to that. The fucking centipede got with her at the end of the movie. Big lights, big city, that's the life for me. I love James and the Giant Peach. Oh, so great. So good. It's such a movie about nothing but bullshit. <laughs> it's just a bullshit ass movie. Am I going the wrong way? Where did I come from? This door. Oh, here we go. Ashley, I'm here. Ashley, you in here, baby girl? Leon's here to get you. Leon. You okay? Come on, let's get out of here. Those anime ass fucking <laughs> screen. Sexy Leon Kennedy for mamaruing his waifu. Love bullshit. It is a bullshit movie. That whole movie is just nothing but bull. There's no actual plot to James and the Giant Peach. Just like like my favorite movie of all time, you know, not you know everyone everyone makes the joke about Hot Topic and shit, and it's so true. But Nightmare Before Christmas, I genuinely just love that movie. The aesthetic, the music, the claymation, I love it. But like, 
That whole movie literally has no plot. <laughs> like, at the end of the movie, he's all like, I get it now, I love you, Sally. And it's like, you barely talked to her. You talked to her like three times throughout the movie, and then you saved her. And then she's just like crying on a fucking hill or whatever. All right. Paper airplane. Perhaps you have figured it out already, but you might be able to get out of here by using the waste disposal vent. The plot is James inside of the giant peach. Yep, pretty much. He's like, my name's James, and uh, here's a peach. Uh, a worm went into it. How dare you. Oh, fuck off, guys. Oh, fuck! <laughs> no! Gotta wait for that motherfucker to get out and start moving. Alright, he's coming. There he is. Come on, get out. Get out of that host. Get out of that host. You know you want to. Fuck me. Alright, you about to get magnum because I'm tired of your sorry ass. Oh, it, it jumped out. There's two of them. Die! Oh, fuck. Let's go. Let's go, baby girl. Come on, Ashley. Motherfucker, you stay away from that door. You stay away. It can't open the door. The Ganado has to come and open the door. Can I shoot it through? I mean, its legs right there. Can I shoot it? No, I can't. Bring it on, you Ganado motherfucker. Open that door. Oh, fuck! How am I missing? Corpse Bride? I never- I never had a chance to watch The Corpse Bride, ever. I really need to. Every time- every time someone brings up The Corpse Bride, I'm like, I never had a chance to watch it, and then fucking... I'm like, it's so easy. Isn't it on like... Is it still on Netflix? Did they take it off? I mean, wouldn't it be on fucking Disney Plus now? Fuck, they locked the door. You motherfucker. You did not shoot Ashley. You did not instantly go for Ashley. Come on. All right, Ashley. Baby girl. Come Wait. on here. You stay here. I'll be your fucking shield. He literally threw the axe past me. He just smacked Ashley in the back of the head. Come on, man. That's fucked up. Why would you do that? No, why would you do that? What reason? What re you know what's really stupid? Like, I get, I, ow. I get the point of the video game is, like, protect Ashley, right? But their plans, their plans are to fucking, let me get this guy. Their plans are to use Ashley, infect her with the Las Plagas, and have her be, like, a sleeper agent, and send her to the White House to fucking kill the president. Of the United States. So why the hell are they trying their best to kill her? If she's literally the whole part of your plan. Motherfucker. Ah! Come on, Ashley, let's go. We can't stay here. We gotta go. Ugh. Come on, baby girl. Looks like this is it. Oh, it stinks. Sure does. Oh well, you're gonna have to deal with it. No way, Leon. Way. <laughs> no way. Yes, way. Such an extra ass plan to kill the president. Yeah. Also, she landed right on top of a fucking Iron Maiden. 
how are those spikes not poking through your sides like Lara Croft? What is this? Come on, let's go. I love how she looks at it. She's like, what is? What is this monster that I fell upon? All right, Ashley, I gotta... Ashley, you're 20. Smoke this weed. There you go. Smoke weed to get better. Oh, he's alive! Move it, baby girl! Close that shit. Now, I think there's like maybe two or three in this room. Oh, fuck. Let's get rid of it. I missed. Is there one on its fucking back? Oh, come on. How did I miss that? Alright. Okay, I thought there was one on its back. Is that another one down there? Oh, no. That's just garbage bags. Alright, baby girl. We're safe for now. Don't worry, Leon's got gotcha. you. Let me just close this behind us. Keep us safe. It is an extra ass plan to kill the president, though. It really is. Also, I don't know why they're trying to kill the president. They're ju they just are. Oh shit! Where the fuck? Actually, you stay here. I'm gonna take a couple of steps forward. Because there's one somewhere. I just don't know where. And there he is. There is one on its fucking back. That shit. Oh, come on! Closer. I hate to say it, but I need you to get closer. <sighs> I need you to. Maybe I can knock out your fucking legs. Oh! Never mind. You're good. Come on, baby girl, let's go. these fucking reload animations. Everyone's all like, look at the gun animations from Last of Us Part 2. It's like, eh, whatever, man. They're, they're still not as good as Resident Evil 4. Alright. There we go. Was there ammo back there that I just left behind? Did I not pick this up? I didn't. You know all the ammo I can get. Hoard it like a, like a fucking squirrel hoarding nuts in its cheeks. Wait. All right, you stay here, Ashley. I'm gonna check it out first. Follow. All right, no, it's good. It's clear. Let's go. Wait. Oh, lovely. He dropped shotgun ammo for me. Follow me. I can't wait for when they, uh... It, it, it's, it's no fucking big secret or anything. They're definitely gonna remake this game. Because they just remade RE3, so they're definitely working on RE4. But, like... I can't wait to see what they do with Ashley. They're gonna fucking put some sort of, like, new shit to, like, make escorting her around easier. Can I... I just, can you just stay up here, Ashley? So I can fight whatever's down here? I feel like something... I don't... 
Alright, well, she came down here with me anyways. Fuck. Fuck! I need you. Oh, fuck. I'm getting cornered. Ah, fuck! Ashley, you operate it. I'll protect you. As best as I can. Don't you fucking evolve, you son of a bitch! Fuckers. Oh, I used my grenade already. Are you kidding me? You still operating it, Ashley? I find it hard to believe that none of you fucking changed. Come on, Ashley, let's go. Try to throw that at her. Caught your bitch ass. Motherfucker opened that shit by himself. Are you kidding me? Alright, how did I miss that now? Now you're just being a goofy game. There's still another one around here. Follow me. Follow me, Ashley. Oh, there he is. Wait. There we go. Follow me. This lever's not working. All right, cool. Let's go, baby girl, this way. I got you, I'll protect you. Someone having a business meeting in here? What the hell? There's nothing on the walls. All right. Oh, I got seven bullets left in this shit. Shutter stuck. Of course it's stuck. They just love giving me shotgun ammo. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'll fucking take this shit all the way to the bank. Go, Ashley. Leave it to me, Leon. Leave it to me, Leon. Oh. I thought I would have to, like, defend you or some shit. We'll close that shit behind us. It's not working either. Alright, cool. I have so many fucking yellow and... I've gotten more yellow herbs than goddamn red herbs this whole entire game. How's it going, stranger? <laughs> oh, speak of the fucking red devil. The white devil! My bad, the white devil. Gotta, gotta put that F sense in it. I need this. Uh. What you got for me? Welcome. I love how... I love how he just opens his trench coat. You don't see that no more in like TV shows or anything. Like the dealer, the fucking dealer who opens his trench coat. He's like, what, the, what are you buying? They don't do that no more. Take this fucking shit out of my inventory. It's garbage. I don't want it. <laughs> Thank you. You know, sometimes by myself, I just like laughing like the goddamn merchant. Just, <laughs> stranger. 
It's so satisfying. Can I fucking... You know what? Can I buy a first aid spray from you? What are you buying? I know fucking Resident Evil 4 aficionados would be like, <gasps> You're buying first aids? How dare you? You are truly not the higher echelon of of Resident Evil 4 experts. I can beat this game with just a knife and one herb. Like, okay. Come on, Ashley. Double team it. Well, what? There's a lever on both sides of the door. Yeah, I know that. Yes. Yes, I know. Do I gotta, like, put Ashley on it? Like... Okay. That's weird. Why didn't she just give me the option? Oh, I gotta time it. My bad. Wait. Ashley, get on the fucking lever. You know what this reminds me of? You know what this reminds me of? So, remember in, like, the beginning of Final Fantasy VII, where... Where, you know, you're you're running through Mako Reactor 1 and fucking Jesse and, Jesse and whatchamacallit, Jesse and, and Biggs are just like, code decipher, and then fucking Cloud, Barrett, and Tifa have to go and press the buttons at the same time. No one gets that shit on the first try, ever, unless you've been practicing. And then they did that shit for, uh, <laughs> they did it in the uh, Final Fantasy VII remake, and the way they did it is... You didn't have to do it. It was an optional thing to get like extra, extra items or whatever. But it's just the most convoluted shit of like do this whole Simon Says thing at the same time, and fucking. Oh, she's gonna drive. God damn it. And fucking Tifa, Cloud, and Bear, they are like, we're so good at this. <laughs> you guys are so good. We make such a great team. Just fucking flipping switches and pressing buttons. Ashley would be faster if we just fucking walked. Like, for real. Oh, but we need to we need to go through the doorways. Okay, well, that, all right. That makes sense. No, the fuck you don't, motherfuckers. You stay back. Uh, hello? Jumping like the goddamn Terminator. Fuck off my truck. Okay, Ashley. Okay, now you're just tearing down the doorway. Get the fuck out of here. Wait for me, guys. I missed the... I missed the... missed the bus. Give me a ride to school. Get your ass out of here. I got no more ammo for this shit. Oh, my God. That is not good. Ammo drying up. What the fuck? I'm not complaining. Those guys are over there. Can you guys, like, drop ammo when you die? Oh, no! I really need you out of my face right now. No! Motherfucker. I never said I was perfect at this game. Never said I was good. Never, ever. Leave it to me, Leon. So, Ashley, if that truck can drive super fast, how come you can't? <laughs> there was no way I was going to be able to shoot that guy in the truck anyways, because the fucking Ganados was in front of me. He was going to smack me anyways. Hey, I see it. Look at the spread on this fucking gun. Oh my god. There's a guy right below us. Can you... Can you... What the hell? Oh fuck. You guys are the worst.
Got that motherfucker. What's up? Get the fuck off my truck. What really sucks is that like he just fucked up. He just didn't make the jump. He's just a loser. Oh, it started back up. Ooh. Damn. Like, they're dropping ammo and shit. But they're dropping ammo where I can't get it. Oh, my motherfucker. Are you kidding me? Where, where is it? Is it upstairs? Do I gotta get off? I'm leaving it to you. I know you're leaving it to me, girl. Go on as fast as I can here. If you don't get the fuck out of my way. Hit the ground! I got nothing. I got nothing. I got that though. That's what I got. Can I just jump down? Nope. Oh. I know the boxes are there for me. TMP! I don't even have the gun! Oh, fuck me. I'm coming, Ashley! I'm coming, Ashley! I don't know why I used that. I did, though. Here, Ashley. Fucking toughen up a bit. Ashley has to be beside you to heal her. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. I'm not getting to her in time. Get the... Motherfucker. You cut that out. That's all I got. That's all I got. Bring it on, bitch. Did they kill me? Nope, oh, still alive, still kicking. Got one bullet in the chamber. I just clutched this shit like I did with Parasite Eve. Killed that motherfucker with a knife. Ah, oh, shit. Can you drop ammo or some shit, please? Ow! You guys are really fucking me up. You're dropping points. I don't see you dropping any ammo. God damn it. Can I heal Ashley while I'm here? Like, she's not besides me, but okay, there we go. So she can take like a hit. Oh, you guys are assholes. I have nothing. They literally gave me fucking ammo I can't use. It was great. Just drop like nine bullets. Oh, great. And they're evolving! <laughs> that was so much. There was literally nothing I could do there. At least they checkpointed me with two bullets. I don't have the TMP. And I refuse to buy the TMP. And I need I need one bullet to at least shoot the truck, maybe two, maybe three, who knows. Is it? 
Come on, man. Drop some ammo. I'm out of fucking... Hmm. Damn. How much damage did I take from that shit? dropping anything for me. Where? Oh, in front of us? I can't even fucking... I can't even aim. Damn it. I'm so good at this game. I'm the best. No one can stop me. Can I just... I can, I can hop off and just follow her from behind, right? There's no point in doing that because they spawn right on top of her. I got this, though. I got this. The moment one of them drops ammo of any kind, it's over. Motherfucking bitch. So let me get one. Just give me. Let me get one hit in. Can't even see the damn thing. Yep, no, we're dead. We're dead, Ashley. There's gotta be like, you know what? There's gotta be like something on the sides, right? First, let me get close to Ashley so she can survive like a hit. You know what? Here you go. Increase your health a little bit. I shouldn't, but I will. There's gotta be something on the sides, right? They can't just leave me high and dry. Uh oh, you want me to get on the back of the fucking... Alright. I'm on the back of it. Oh no, I can't get off of it. Oh fuck. Alright, well shit. Just drop something. Someone drop something, please. Motherfucker. Stop hitting me! We're all gonna die! Don't you guys wanna live? Obviously not. Okay guys, here's what I want you to do. We need to get the president's daughters back so we can use her to kill the president. So kill the president's daughter, right? No. 
You said we need to get her back alive, so kill the president's daughter. That's what you're telling me. Like, I hear what you're saying, but I really hear what you're saying. Kill the president's daughter, right? <laughs> Fine, kill the president's daughter. Yeah! God, I just wish I had like, I just wish I had like one grenade. They're just like, here's some team. You know what? Let me discard this, because maybe that's why they're not dropping shit. Maybe the game's just like, no, man, you have ammo. Don't know why they keep giving me ammo for a gun I don't got, but, you know, I'm not a game designer. There we go. Get the fuck out of my face. Don't you dare evolve, you son of a bitch. Wish my knife range was better. What have my kick option, son of a bitch? Hmm. Thank fucking God. Got it this time. Good job, Ashley. We did it. For fuck's sake. Here's the TMP ammo. Fuck the TMP. TMP's worthless. It also just takes up unnecessary space. Come on, like who's gonna who's gonna carry the rifle, the shotgun, a handgun? You know you gotta carry a fucking handgun. And a shotgun. And you know you're gonna need the rifle. And then your only other options are the TMP, Magnum, Flamethrower. Flamethrower sucks. Fucking... They also got like a grenade launcher, but who the fuck uses that? It's like, you're gonna take the Magnum. Like, you're not gonna take the fucking TMP. Fuck needs the TMP. But I like the TMP! I don't care what you like. There you go. Welcome. Would you like to buy some ammo? Yes, I would like to have three ammo boxes worth, please. Oh, it looks like I, uh, I'm sold out. But, but it's right there in your coat. No, nope, I'm sold out. Sold out. Don't got no more. I don't even know what I'm trying to buy here. I can't really. There's nothing for me. It's nothing to buy. The striker doesn't have any more. Oh, it does have more upgrades for me. Well, fuck yeah. Fully maximize the striker. Is that all, stranger? Why would I ever sell the fucking... Why would I ever sell the vest? It doesn't even take up space. Like, that's how good it is. It reduces damage and it doesn't even take up space in your inventory. That time I didn't even have to use these items. Also, whenever you play this game, you gotta... You just gotta organize it. There's no other way to play this game. You must organize your inventory. Or the boogeyman will come and get you. It's beautiful. Is there a fucking... Oh, there's a typewriter here. Oh no, it's the Pope. Growing ever so strongly inside you. Sadler! Ugh. Your black magic is giving me a heart attack. But 
you cannot disobey. So isn't it is it a coincidence that like he's like this this priest of this cult and he's like super rapey? I think the game's trying to tell me that priests are super rapey. Ashley, you had the Sharingan the whole entire time. It was you who killed the Uchiha clan. You had a tracker the whole time, Leon. Why the fuck didn't you use that any other time in the game? It's already begun. 16 times. I died a total of six times. God damn it. In that chapter. Holy shit. Cause fucking here's the TMP ammo. What do you mean you don't have the TMP? <laughs> Everyone has the TMP. Oh, give me that shit. Nothing on this side. Cool. That's fine. Our plan. Because that agent, we lost Chief Mendez and Ramon. Nevertheless, everything will proceed according to plan. I must admit, however, the loss of my loyal men is a bit disheartening. But I will deal with it. Those motherfuckers are dead. Placing the loss will not come easy. I must choose wisely, for the plagas reflect the conscience of their host. If chosen poorly, they could betray me. I need men who will swear their allegiance to me. That's why. I need men who will swear their allegiance to me. And only men who will swear their allegiance to me. Then I'll give them Los Plagas. But sir, didn't you infect Leon Kennedy with the Los Plagas? Yes, I did. Doesn't he not swear allegiance to you and actively goes against your will? Yes, he does. Your point? If they go against me, they may betray me. So let's give, let me give the biggest pain in the ass a fucking power up. All right, I learned my lesson with Sierra betrayed me. I will not make the mistake again. In this important hour, I cannot and will not have anyone stand in my way. Fucking. If given to the wrong host, they can betray me. So why, why do we give it to Leon? I don't know. What's the news on our friend, Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah. I got a knife. Do you like my knife? My knife is cool. All the ladies love my knife. <laughs> Fucking knife battle with this motherfucker. Oh. The beauty of it all. Look how much ammo I have. I need more. I need more power more firepower oh you thought now look at you tripping down the steps like a fucking like a fucking moron don't you dare you son of a bitch in here those things don't shoot fire out at me right stay on the ground motherfucker got a crossbow I can't even see my goddamn There we go. 
couldn't see my fucking aiming reticle. That motherfucker's on the steps. Of course he's dead. Don't you? Motherfucker. Ah, you got no head! Bitch. I don't know why he's just standing there. Now he's dead. Here we go. I'm trying to remember if any other regenerators show up later on. And I feel like that's the only area with them. God, I love the re I love the Red Knight's reload animation. So good. Oh, here we come. This is where I do the knife fight with Krauser. Yep. Time for quick time events that I'm gonna fuck up. Because they're so goddamn fast. I'm be honest, I don't I don't know much about Krauser. Is that what they told you? You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got your I'm not sure if it's like After all, you and I If it's in like a side game or if it's in like a fucking oh shit. Or if it's in like a novel or something. What do you want? I honestly don't I don't know Krauser at all. I'll be honest. Like you, I'm American. <laughs> Wait, what? That's some Japanese shit to say. You got her involved just for that? Oh, my single chest hair. How dare you. Switch the fucking button. You cheating bitch. Ada. Oh, Ada. Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time. Maybe some other time. You fucking loser. Enjoy the reunion with How the fuck does everyone end up getting all my goddamn comms? This is the least secure shit ever. I wouldn't want my special guests on the island feeling unattended. Guess I'm supposed to thank you, right? Ah, I have an idea. Since you're here, why don't I introduce you to it? It 
should keep you Sorry, I don't like that movie. I can't remember the name, huh? Especially the second part. It's kind of weird. You know, speaking about it, I fucking... <laughs> I have owned both It and It Part 2, uh, the Blu-rays, since they came out, and I still haven't watched that movie. I was supposed to watch it last Halloween, but I just... I was just so goddamn busy, I never had time. I just buy shit, and I, like, sit on it for a while. Just never have time to, like, actually sit down and play them. Well, play them or watch them, you know. Games, movies, whatever, anime. Oh man, this is everyone's favorite part. I'm gonna fuck it up. Motherfucker. Huh! This Mission Impossible shit. <laughs> You're like, man, you fucking, you do some cool shit. Door unlocked. And then after that... I'm the fucking man in the big chair. There's no time for resting. <laughs> Just sit in the chair. He's all like, I saw Sora do this in the Kingdom Hearts picture. Am I doing it right? Elegant headdress. Nice. There's a door behind the chair, right? I never understood the idea of throne rooms. It's like, it's a big room with one chair. And you sit in it. People watch you sit. Alright, where are you, Mr. Merchant? I need you. More than ever. Are there bugs in here? Those invisible motherfuckers? Hope not. I don't want to deal with them, they're too squirrely. Nope, it's just the merchant. I think this leads to a... Uh... This might be where, like, Krauser's fight is at. You got anything for me? Of course you don't. Welcome. Just sell me the ammo. Tune-ups. The broken butterfly. Might as well. I don't even have enough. And the striker. Wait, what? Exclusive. Oh, including <laughs> beyond the weapons limitations. Hmm. Interesting. I'm mad that I fucking upgraded the broken butterfly because I forgot the killer seven was a goddamn thing. Oh wow. Oh wait, I got the elegant headdress. I can sell that to you. Got that, and I got these emeralds. That old <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. You're just hiding. You're just hiding some good grass back here, man. That's that good shit. No, this is the fucking oh man. This is that fight. I forgot how to do this shit. Oh, that's a sign of the fire. I really forgot how to do this fight. been so long.
No, they found my tracker. Ashley. Maybe I should have set it to silent instead of flashing in loud beeping mode. You're nasty, dude. Now I'm out of here. What? Oh, I gotta get past him. Oh, he went up on the ceiling. Won't open. I gotta find the other button. What the fuck? Is there... Am I crazy? Isn't there a... Isn't there like a place to step up at? Or something? I think I gotta... Do I gotta shoot him down? Shit. Sorry, give me a moment. I gotta scratch my nose. Gotta shoot the green button. Oh, I gotta shoot them. Thank you. Fuck. Also, thanks for the follow. I was... I was really just, like, forgetting shit. This is on a time limit, right? <laughs> Isn't this on a time limit? If I don't do it fast enough, the whole thing just falls down. Son of a bitch. I'm trying to get your attention. Sorry about that. Fucking I was just I was just so absorbed in the game. It's been a, like it's been a while since I've gotten this far in this game. Alright, motherfucker. I need you to I need you to get the hell out of my way. I did not mean to throw two of them. God damn it. Saw the dodge prompt and I fucked it up. It's one of your favorite games. It's a lot of people's favorite game of all time. I'll be honest, I like Resident Evil 4, but I don't... I don't think I would put it in my favorite game of all time. It's a good game, though. And it's really... It has like a... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. It's a good game and it has like a lasting legacy. I am excited for whenever they decide to remake the damn thing. I mean, well, they already pretty much decided to remake it. What am I missing? What am I missing? It wasn't yours when you beat it. Oh, fuck. He's just growing you? I understand that. There, There's other games that I fucking... Oh, there it is. I didn't see that. There we go. Doors open now. Oh shit. <laughs> Ew. So Leon's leg contorted. That was gross. Son of a bitch. Fuck you, TMP. Get the hell out of my inventory. Fucking use the TMP. Fuck the TMP. That's just, that's just nasty. You're just gross. You're just a nasty, you're just a nasty boy. TMP is good. I know it's good. I know it's good, but it takes up too much damn space. Fuck! Takes up too much damn space for me. That was not a good choice. Go through it, Leon! Come on, big boy. 
Oh, fuck. And now I'm at max health. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I know you can't. I know you can't kill him. Not until you, uh... What the hell am I doing? Yeah, I know. Um... I'm just trying to, like... Get him to stop. I want him to, like, move. Out of my way! Like, playing Resident Evil 4 makes me wanna... It makes me wanna re... Oh, fuck. It makes me wanna replay the first, um... The first Evil Within, because, I mean, they're both Shinji Mikami and fucking... And he basically tried to remake the damn thing. But it's just... Fuck. Even though... Alright, I was waiting for, like, a quick time event. Even though, um, Evil Within, first Evil Within, at least, isn't really that good of a game, I still, I still prefer, I still prefer to play it more than Resident Evil 4, because I don't have to deal with fucking tank controls. <laughs> Never played Evil Within? I bought that game when it came out, I was so excited for it. Alright, now I can fight and kill it or some shit. Don't I gotta, like, crush it between these? Or something like that? Nope. Alright, there's a red barrel there. Oh! Let me grab this, because I'm gonna need it. That should reach you, right? Nope, it didn't. That was way too far away. But my spread shot got you. Leon, why do you recover? Why is your recovery time so fucking slow when it comes to the, uh... Come on. Come on. Come on! What the hell? Where is he? Which way did he go? There he is. Just load it up into him. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I didn't notice it broke the gate until it was too late. He's all like, you wanna fuck with the gate? I'll show you a gate. I got nothing for- oh, I do. Don't judge me, I forgot that this Killer7 was a thing. So I upgraded the fucking broken butterfly like an idiot. Shut up. Shut up yelling at me. It is a good boss fight. I like it a lot. Oh, fuck. Bring it on, big boy. He has a little bit of, uh, whatchamacallit. What's it called from Zelda? Fucking dead hand? He's like, I'm gonna bury in the ground and touch you when I come up. Oh, did he go back to the ground? Yup. Oh, fuck. He's gonna pinch me! Come over here, let me pinch your cheeks. I'ma get you, big boy. Did he just come back up from the ground? Okay. Well, I was slow on that one. Uh, the wall- no, I mean, like, um, Dead Hand is the- Like, you know when you go down into the well, the bottom of the well, and fucking, uh- Oh! 
You crunched me. You know when you go down to the bottom of the well and fucking, um... You gotta get the lens of truth. And then down there's like, the slimy dude with like, no actual hands, but he's surrounded by a bunch of other, like, longer hands. He's like, I'm gonna go into the ground and, and I'm gonna pinch you when I come back up. <laughs> huh. I wanted to play, I wanted to stream Zelda for this month, but there's no reason for me to do that because next month is the uh, Zelda anniversary. I think it's the 35th anniversary. So like, oh fuck. So, like, I'm just waiting to see what they announce. So that I don't fucking... I don't accidentally go like, We're playing... We're playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time! And then... And then they're like, Oh, we're making Ocarina... We're remaking it again. You know? Thanks for the follow, Swift Shadows. I greatly appreciate it. I love you. Alright, now where the fuck... Big gate open, right? Isn't there, like, a scene where he tries to drag me down or some bullshit? Am I crazy? Oh, it's a door. Oh, we're gonna have time, yeah. Well, I mean, to be honest, I'd rather play Majora's Mask. I know, right? Fucking very original. Pretty daring, aren't I? But, like... But you can't, you can't play Majora's Mask before you play Ocarina of Time. And to be honest, I can't play Ocarina of Time before you play Link to the Pass. I don't know that much about Link to the Pass. I have it. Played it. Never beat it. And the voice was smooth as Morgan Freeman's. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think my voice is smooth at all. I actually hate my voice. And that's after getting used to hearing my voice in, like, recordings and shit. It's mainly because, like, I'm probably, like, my skin tone isn't super dark, but I am, I am a, I'm a light-skinned black guy with, like, the whitest voice ever. So whenever, when everyone's like, <laughs> so you can imagine me living in the ghetto, right, where I live, and then everyone's like, what's up, little ass nigga? And I'm like, mm. I'm like, what's up, little ass nigga? And I don't want to say it. Because I sound super white. Yeah, most light skins have white voices, I know. But it's really it's really hard to be like not hard, but like I'm not like ashamed of it. It's just like, you know. I'd rather not I'd rather not live my life sounding like every other basic YouTuber, right? What's up guys? We're here playing Sonic again. Whoa! Bro, I found diamonds in my- oh, fuck. Hit the ground, Charlie Brown. Get sliced up. You know, I just don't want to sound like that guy whenever I like stream and record and shit. Come on, everybody, floss with me. Nobody's flossing. <laughs> One of the best clips ever, I love that shit. It's like, nobody's flossing here, oh boy. That guy really got me. Could've shot the barrel. Yeah, I could've. There's a lot in this game I fucked up. I missed up a lot of things. Like, I missed the fucking... Like, I got the royal insignia for the crown, but I missed the other goddamn thing for it. So I had to sell it at a low price. But I got a bunch of fucking herbs. I don't even know why I did that. I could've just saved that for Ashley. I've been stockpiling herbs like a motherfucker. Like your drug dealer. The local he town hero. I'm a pro. I'm not a pro. I'm terrible at this game. Like, I can play Resident Evil 2. Like, the remake, pretty good. Right? Resident Evil 3 remake, now, uh... That's a, that's a question. Which you can see both playthroughs on my YouTube channel. Insert plug here. Oh, I got all the things for the cat. Yeah. Look at that. 
Here's your beautiful kitty cat. Look upon him in all of his glory. I'm your god. You just look into its eyes and you start getting hypnotized, hypnotized like it's Kaw from the Jungle Book. Your eyes go all swirly and shit. A Krauser. You bitch. Oh look, it's another merchant who has bullets on him, but he refuses to sell them to me. What are you selling? Take this fucking cat away from me. I don't want it no more. Thank you. Never up never upgraded your guns. Oh shit, really? I mean, I don't upgrade the guns until I get Well, I don't upgrade the handgun until I get the red nine, because fuck the black tail. And I don't upgrade the shotgun until I get the striker. Because it just has stupid spread on it, and I love it. The, uh, the, uh, semi, semi-auto rifle. Um, how do I got so much points? Because I don't, I didn't upgrade shit. Like, I didn't upgrade the rifle at all. There's no need to. It has enough firepower to, like, kill things in one or two hits. And when you're using the rifle, you're pretty much going for headshots anyways, right? And those are just... One headshot, bam, it's off, unless they're fucking Lust Plagas or whatever, right? So you don't need to upgrade this thing. Broken Butterfly, I upgraded it like an idiot, because I forgot Killer 7 was a thing. Red 9, upgraded all the way, love it. Striker, upgraded all the way. And TMP ammo, get the fuck out of here. Thank you. I understand, people love the TMP. I, for one, don't want to deal with it. What are you buying? I mean, I might as well, right? Is that old strike? <laughs> Thank you. Semi auto. Yeah. Don't upgrade that shit. Might as well. I already already went all the way. Fuck it. There's nothing else for me to buy. What are you buying? What are you buying? And who the fuck uses the mind thrower and the rocket launcher? We're gonna save that for the final boss. Killer 7's reference to the other... Yeah, I know. I never played Killer 7. I played Killer is Dead. <laughs> is that a... Is that... That's a game by Suda51, right? He made that game? What are you buying? Or did Mikami make that? Speaking Come about back. fucking Mikami, I'm so excited for uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. Don't know why they're working with Bethesda, though. Fucking... Bethesda. I don't hate Bethesda or anything, but come on. You could have gone with a better could have gone with a better company. Last time we worked with Bethesda, we got we got fucking Oh, you do get a free rocket launcher. I forgot. Ada does throw it to you. Because they're like, remember remember Resident Evil 2? Remember when we did that, guys? It was cool, right? So cool. Gotta admit, I love the I love the uh the tyrant fight and fucking RE2 remake is great. I just love RE2 better because there's no spiders. Death to all spiders. Except for the ones that I like. Which is the one from Monster Moose May and the fucking spider from James and the Giant Peach. I love both of them. And Spider Man. And Spider Gwen. And Miles. But after that, Death to All Spiders and Superior Spider-Man. Superior Spider-Man school. After that, Death to All Spiders. That's how Squaresoft is with Final Fantasy VII. I mean, at the end of the day, they, uh, they kicked, uh, well, Squaresoft. You mean Square Enix? Squaresoft don't exist no more. <laughs> oh, I went the wrong way. Um, but, like, they kicked, uh, Cyber Connect off the project with thank God. Like imagine playing a fucking imagine Imagine Final Fantasy 7 running like the goddamn Naruto games. Who have frame frame drops like a motherfucker. Like I don't hate the Naruto games, but their frame rate drops. It's fucking terrible. Well at least uh at least um Storm 3 and 4. I'm kind of disappointed they're not making no more Storm games, but at the same time, I really don't care, because I'm done with Naruto. 
It's out of here, man. It's gone. It could. I mean, in my opinion, I still wish, uh... Who, who was, uh, who was supposed to, not supposed to play Miles Morales, but there's an actor who was literally made to be Miles Morales, but he's too old now. Was it Idris Elba? Who the fuck was it? I can't remember right off the top of my head. I don't know actors that well. i am be honest. I really don't. Also, I love how my shadow just defies logic. It's great. All right, Krauser, where's your bitch ass at? I know you're here somewhere. You wanna have a knife fight, Leon? So, you two are all hooked up now, is that it? Where's Ashley? Do you this fight here, you just else? stab him, right? His weakness is the knife. She's beyond that gate. Oh, trust me, I don't know where to go. To open it. It's been so long since I got to the end of Resident Evil 4. The only reason I the only reason I'm streaming Resident Evil 4 right now is because I watched the showcase, then after that they did the demo, so I played the demo, and then I was like, I got fucking three more hours left of stream time. I plan on doing a Resident Evil 4 playthrough, but like, I need to finish the game first so I can unlock the costumes and shit. Action Star Leon. Huh. Alright. Why'd you shoot, Leon? I guess I held the button down too fast. Oh, fuck! Does Village look good? Um, well, if you want, you can watch the VOD once the stream is over, but... It, it's it's a good-looking game. I mean, it's the... It's the RE engine, right? It's good-looking. They build up on it, especially with everything that they did from... Motherfucker, come here. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Come here, you bitch. Come on, get some of this action. Yeah. You know you you know you want some of this. You just threw a flash at me, you bastard. I love the music playing though. But Village looks really good, especially with everything they did and um and they had like a lot of time to figure out the RE engine with uh whatchamacallit? Double May Cry 5. I didn't mean to sh Come here. Huh. That fucking dropkick is beautiful. Come here, boy. Eh. Stabbing your fucking pecs. Fucking take controls. Aren't there like Los Plagas running around here somewhere? Oh, I need to find the fucking shit. Gotta shoot him fast. Very flashes run to the next part. Yeah. Oh, I played the demo. Oh, yeah, by the way. Playing this on the PS5. <laughs> yeah, I played the demo earlier. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was really short. It's shorter than the RE7 demo. I honestly don't know where to go. I'm be honest with you. I'm be 100% honest. Don't remember shit. He's gonna- Oh, fuck! How you miss all those shots? Get the hell out of here. Good, Leon. Like, okay. Give me a moment, Krauser. Oh! You, your aim sucks. It's worse than mine. Oh, you got drones! Oh, shit. Alright. I can't jump over there, can I? Fuck. Where you at? God damn it. Will they turn on me if I go down? I believe so. They just fucking... Oh! There he is. Fuck out of here. Huh. Kicked him through the doorway. And I'm out of here. Oh, there's a lever. Oh. 
Oh, you got me. PS5 isn't that crazy. What do you intend to do, Risk? Wait for him to get his fucking kangaroo jack legs. To bring order and balance to this I mean, it's nice. To be honest, the only real game I got for the PS5 besides Bug Snacks is fucking, uh, is Demon Souls. Alright. Bring it on, you bitch. Duh. Come on, Leon, you can be a little bit faster. Oh, fuck! I got a little bit of a boo boo. Don't just stand there. Come out and fight like a man. Come and fight like a man. I'm not falling for that one. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I will read your name right off the bat, but I'm paying attention to Krauser because he's a jackass. Oh, fuck. Whew. You mother... How am I not dead? <laughs> All right, you bitch. That's what I'm talking about. I love their voice clips. It's great. Super anime. I can't push this. There we go. Alright, how the fuck? There's like a lever somewhere, right? I don't think it's that one that I was at, though. Oh, I gotta push it over here. Alright. Fuck me. Come on. You can do it, Leon. Get that leg day in. I feel like Leon has the fastest, uh, has the fastest pushing mechanics in, like, any game that has block pushings. Because I know Zelda is, like, super fucking slow with that. Ah, fuck. Come on, aim, damn it. I can't wait for them to make the aiming better and goddamn the remake whenever that comes out. That'll come out like two years from now, I'm calling it. Um... This opens now, right? No? Okay, fuck. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, it sticks by the notion that it's better with motion control. Eh, it depends, I guess. I don't know. I never really was a fan of motion controls either way. I mean, like, they have their places, right? But, like, at the end of the day, well, the games that I'm thinking of, it's like, Splatoon would be more fun without motion controls. I don't like the gyro aiming in the Zelda games. It was cool in Twilight Princess, because you had, like, a crosshair to actually aim with, but, I mean, you can just, you can just give him an actual crosshair without doing that. And Skyward Sword is just fucking, oh, God, terrible. It's not too bad of a game. Where the fuck do I have to go? <laughs> I'll be honest. It should open now. Okay, so once you put the tablet in there, it, it automatically unlocks it. Alright. I believe it. There's death traps in a mansion, so I believe it. Oh! I didn't pay attention. But I mean, like... I'm, re I'm really trying to, like, think on a game where it's, like, it's really useful. I guess, like, Okami? But I mean... Fucking drones. But I mean, like... You can just play, like, the newer versions of Okami and they don't have the... They dro oh, fuck! Alright, fuck, fuck using the handgun. Get that spread in there. Oh, shit. There you go. Drop Magnum ammo. Thank God. Oh no! Let's see. 
yeah. It's very precise when you learn how to use it. I believe it. I mean, again, like, people really love it in, like, Splatoon and shit. So, that's fine. But, ah, oh, fuck me. I had all the time in the world to react, but I, I, my brain just wouldn't work. I'll be honest. It decided, my brain just said no. My brain just went, nope. Not today, little guy. It is essentially a mouse. You are correct about that. I never played Trauma Center, so... I heard it was fine in Trauma Center. You know what games which controls is really fucking terrible, but it's like a really good game? And I curse the man Tetsuya Nomura for it? Fucking the world ends with you, man. Such a good game with a good story, good style, good music. Fucking good everything. Except for the gameplay. If you're gonna play that game, play it on the DS. And then just look up the extra shit that they put in the Switch version, because... Fucking... The version on the iPhone sucks, and then the version on the Switch definitely sucks, because the motion controls just don't work. At all. You can play it with touchscreen, but like... Eh. Two down, one more to go. Motion controls and the rejection of prog... Okay. Sounds interesting. I'll give it a look. Ew, man, you're nasty. You're gross. Have you given me the finger? The super finger. The power. You've lost it completely, Krauser. Prepare for your death, Leon. Oh! Did that... Did that not... Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. You're an asshole, Krauser! Listen, if you're gonna give me a cutscene... Alright. Hey, Ethanol, how's it going? So, quick question. I just gotta run away, right? I don't gotta actually fight Krauser at this moment. I just gotta get off the building. Oh, fuck. I think I might have to fight Krauser. I have to fight him, because he has, like, the key? Alright, cool. Alright. I got so much yellow herbs. It's cool as a motherfucker. Come here. Bitch. Oh! Did you know his weakness is the knife? I always love that. Give me the fucking piece, you son of a bitch. If you're gonna give me a cutscene, don't have the time limit go while the cutscene's going. Fuck your ladder. Oh god, I gotta take the steps. I can't just jump down. Uh, oh wait, no. It'd be faster this way, right? Get me the fuck out of here. Alright. Am I playing on PS3? Nope. I'm playing with the PS5. That's how you do that. <laughs> Alright. You're severely impaired. What happened? If you don't mind me asking. You mean like you? You mean like you had some sippy tonight? Had a had a couple of drinks. Had a couple of brewskis with the boys. <laughs> I'm so drunk. It's probably not even funny anymore. Oh shit. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, try not to go, try not to go too overboard. Go overboard a little bit so you can enter your power limits, and break it. But like, but you know, don't go too, don't, don't hurt yourself. How shall I 
You can return your appreciation by stopping what you're doing and giving me back Ashley. So, question, do you guys really hate Ashley? Because I like Ashley. I just spilt water all over myself like a fucking moron. I bet that noise probably came up on the microphone too. It was like a real loud splooshing noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like Ashley. I just think people hate her because she's tied to an escort mission. I honestly think that's why people hate her. Like, I understand that they're like, why can't she pick up a knife and or a gun or something? And it's like, I get it. But I mean, she doesn't really do anything too bad, and for the most part, she kind of stays out the way, if you know how to position her correctly. Like, I'm pretty sure when they remake this game, they're gonna do, like, a lot of shit to, like, rework Ashley. She is a fun burst of energy. I do like her. I like her a lot. It makes me want her back. I miss her screams. Is that Mike? That's Mike the Chopper guy. Yeah, Mike, go do it. My man's walking around with a rocket launcher. He said, I beat the game to get this. It's unlimited. He's like, he's like, check this shit out, Leon. I don't even gotta shoot him. Tip their own waterfall on him. Get him, Mike. Light him up. Don't let them escape. Now, I believe there was, like, some type of, like, if you glitch through the fucking modeling here, like, it's a guy in, like, it's a guy in, like, SWAT, you know, uniform and shit, but if you look through the model of that, it's just a regular Ganado or some shit. I love you, Mike. I love you, Mike. Give me a kiss, big boy. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Get him, Mike! Can I? Oh, let me reload this. Take cover! That's what I'm doing, Mike. It's all you. It's all you, big boy. You got this. I need to actually get closer. So I can get him like Oh, get him Mike. Yeah. Fuck him up. This is this fucking amazing music. This is like Metal Gear music that would play once you're like doing it, you know? Oh fuck. You can't hit me. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna take out the red nine for this. Just like me. Now, did these guys spawn over here? No. Stop. Can't see shit. Oh! I saw him. Didn't react in time. Now get super. Oh, come on, Mike. Come on. Don't stop my suplex. Ugh. Nighty night. Oh, fuck. I wish there was just like a back step command, you know? Like just a quick back step. Like not a full on. Oh, fuck. Mike, save me. You beautiful bastard. Yeah, I don't want like a full on uh oh I don't want like a full on um like dodge and parry shit from like Resident Evil 3 because that's a little bit too much. Even though it was cool. And it's only there really for Nemesis, because he's a fast ass motherfucker. But like 
a back step would be nice so that when they get all up in your face, you can be you can just you know hop back real quick. Oh fuck. Be careful, Mike. Your badassery almost got me killed. Fucking psychopath. Now where the hell is that guy at? Well that had nothing for me. Oh! Mike! Save me! I don't want to use my full mixture down there because I... I really don't need it. Kick him with my legs. Ah! Oh! Tough. Oh, wait. Never mind. I was gonna pull out the broken butterfly. What? Oh, fuck. But I need to reload it. Job to get hit with the butterfly, you bastard. Look at that. Bam. Have I played Code Veronica? I have. I beat it once and then I never went back because I hate spiders. <laughs> I got I got arachnophobia out the ass, but yes, I have played Code Veronica. Fucking what was that dude's name? Steve? What a loser. Is it good? Uh, it's it's boring. Honestly, Code Veronica is boring. It really is. It's the story's okay, but it's boring and it also makes no sense. Like I know a lot of Resident Evil doesn't make any sense, but it really makes no fucking sense. Like like fucking Claire goes like her main thing is I came here to look for Chris and then when she heads to like Antarctica or whatever the fuck she goes like, oh, I called Leon so he can contact Chris and tell him to meet me at Antarctica. Then why the fuck are you there in the first place if you can just call him? What is the, what was the point of that whole game? It makes no sense. Like, it's not, it's not a bad game. It's just boring in terms of like Resident Evil. It's just so fucking boring. Listen, motherfucker, I need you to back the hell up. Oh, shit! Stranger danger! Good shit, Mike. You fucking beautiful bastard. Ah, I got shot. Did you shoot me, Mike? What the fuck was that? Oh, no, these guys shot me, but they, they're doing, like, so little damage! Motherfucker. Whole environment is disguised from gunfire point of view. Yeah, it is. It is. It was it was a uh, I don't wanna say it was the first of its kind for um Oh. Uh, it's not the first of its kind for 3D shooter games, but it was pretty early on. And the game like Resident Evil was derived from like tank controls and shit, so they were just kind of finding their footing. Resident Evil 5 does it better. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't like Resident Evil 5 at all. Again, it's not a bad game, it's just not my game that I choose. Right? I just don't, I don't like the aesthetic of Resident Evil 5, everything is like covered in a piss filter. Fucking TMP ammo. Listen, you're telling me to get out the way, Mike. I get it. I get it. Let me just... Let me just heal myself first, okay, man? Let me just do that. I'm gonna run out of healing really soon. Mike, I was going for the gun. I wanted to use it. You fucking bastard. Can I not jump down? There we go.
Oh, fuck me. Some more herbs. Ah, oh, you guys are just lighting me up. Good thing I got this fucking vest. RE5 was criticized on its release. It was criticized because the trailer for RE5, the first trailer for RE5 is literally white man Chris and Sheva, who is a, notice, a noticeably lighter, lighter skin tone than every other enemy in the game. They're both just mowing down a bunch of black people in Africa and they're like, no, they're infected. And it's like, come on guys, really? No one, no one in the office saw that and went like, guys, we got, this, this don't look good. That's why I was criti criticized. That in limited, in limited inventory space and the stupid shit they did with Jill. It's kind of dumb. Wesker's cool though, but mainly because he's ripped straight out of the Matrix. Oh wait, I'm back here again. God damn it. Where the fuck? Where's the switch? Good job. Good job, Mike. I love you. I love how dude bro Mike is. He's like, yeah, swipe them clean. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, fucking, it's just so weird. And then you play, like when you play Resident Evil 5 and you get to the beginning and like the first, the first instance of like, um, the, uh, I don't know what the fuck they're even, like, the enemies are even called in RE5. Like, I'm, I guess they're just another variant of Ganados because they still use Las Plagas. But, like, the first thing you see, besides, like, a, a black dude shoving another, shoving, like, a gross meatball down another black dude's throat, uh, the other thing you see to that is two, two super dark black men, they're infected, Right, quote unquote infected. Two super dark black men literally picking up the whitest blonde hair woman you can see in your life and dragging her into a room and then they go and then Chris and Shiva are like, oh no, we have to save the white woman. And I'm like, what? I'm like, this is so fucked up. Alright, how the fuck do I get over there? Oh I just Is that open now? Like it's so fucked up. Can I really not jump down from there? All right, Mike, stop shooting at me. That's you now. There's no one else to shoot. You're just being an asshole. I'm just running around in circles. I'm gonna be honest. I fucking don't remember shit about the third act of this game. Where the fuck is the pathway that I went through before? Here it is. You really fucking around. Think five was race based. It wasn't race based. It's just that the game took place in Africa, right? But they just, for some reason, they were just super like tone deaf when it came to it. Because then after you you're done, you know, slaughtering the fucking the people, <laughs> the infected people <laughs> in Africa, right? Um, your next your next area you go to is a tribal like area, right? And it's just more black people dressed up in the most, like, I don't want to say racist, because, I mean, because, you know, Native Americans, like, and shamans and shit, they did dress up like that and voodoo shit. But it's just so weird. You just go to, like, this swamp area, and it's like, oh, here comes the, the huge black dude dressed up in, like, fucking deer skulls and shit. And it's like, kill these guys. They're all infected. Which is why when you play the game... Uh, after they, after they showed that trailer, they went back and put in a couple more enemy types that are, like, noticeably lighter in skin tone. So instead of it being fucking, instead of it just being, like, mowing down the fucking African people, you're mowing down Africans and Mexicans. And it's like, it's cool, though, because Sheva's, Sheva's a black person, but she's, like, a lighter skin tone than every other black person in the game. Like, it's so weird. Good job, Mike. We're gonna fucking party at the bar when we're done. I'm gonna get you so many bitches. It's gonna be crazy. When we get out of here, drinks are on me. Yeah, hey, I know a good bar. 
No! Mike! 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 I really miss my nigga. I said I really miss my nigga. Was at the hospital bed. Say nigga, are you dead? Sure you're the next to go, my nigga said, yeah. <laughs> I love that song so much. Oh man. Ooh, I'm sorry, Leon. He's like, damn, was that Mike, bro? Oh shit, my bad. To get all upset you're not sorry, you liar. Don't tell me you've never swatted a bothersome fly. In essence, it's the same thing. You, you killed him in cold blood. I just lost my voice as I was doing that. <laughs> you killed him in cold blood. You monster. How dare you? Guess it's another good reason to get the parasite out of my body. Again, I just want to point out that fucking Salazar himself, or Saddler, whatever, whichever one he is, he's just like, man, my good men died out there. I need to find new hosts for the Las Plagas that will obey my command because if they ever rebel against me, it can be really bad. And he's all like, by the way, guys, remember when we put that parasite inside Leon? Yeah, doesn't he rebel against you at every turn? Yeah. I see nothing wrong with that plan. <laughs> like, what? Like, that, hmm. Also, I don't know why they even decided to infect Leon. Like, what the hell, man? There's literally no reason for them to infect Leon. It's like, was the idea like he's a valuable asset and he'll be part of our team? But it's like, he's like, he's mowing down everybody. Adds tension to the game. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. The tension, in, the tension enough should be Ashley, right? Because that's what you're here for. And Ada's there to put more tension. She's all like, she's like, maybe I'll fuck Leon today. And then everyone in the fucking Resident Evil universe is like, you know our, you know our global rule. In this universe, nobody has sex, ever. All we do is just exchange fuck me eyes. It's like, come on, man. Also, I love how, like, in Resident Evil 6, Sherry goes like, Leon! Oh my god! It's Leon, guys! And then Leon's just like, weren't you that little girl that I met at the last second of <laughs> Resident Evil 2? And I was like, who the fuck is this? Leon, you okay? <sighs> yeah. It's so unfair that people hate Ashley. RE6, here's the thing. RE6 isn't a bad game. It's just a fucking, it's just the story is bad. That's it. Leon, stop it! I'm not into that kinky shit! Oh my god, he had the Sharingan the whole entire time. You helped Itachi kill the Uchiha clan, how dare you? Ah, come on, Ada, come on! The knife I get, you didn't have to go for the jewels! Sorry, Ada. It's not a, like, again, it's not a bad Resident Evil game. I mean, here's the thing, it's not a bad game. It's just the story for Resident Evil is really bad because literally the story is like, man, the guy, he's like, man, Ada wouldn't let me fuck her. So I made a super clone of Ada and now she's fucking up everything. But I still want to fuck Ada though. And that's literally the whole story. Everything in that story devolves down to that. Literally that. It's like, I want to fuck Ada. So I made a clone of her and then she was mad that she wasn't the real Ada. So then she went ape shit. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> but then if you if you ask anyone who played RE6, they just go, man, RE6 sucks, it's a bad game, but I love Mercenaries mode. Now riddle me this, isn't Mercenaries mode just literally survival mode? Isn't that what that is? It's literally nothing but pure gameplay. So people like the gameplay of RE6, but they don't like the story. So in end, they just say, I hate RE6. And it's like, what? Like, come on, man. Where the fuck you at? You regenerating son of a bitch.
It's just so weird. Yeah, again, it's like the controls work really well. They do. And I understand that people don't like RE6. Just say you don't like the story. Don't say you hate the game. You can't hate the game if you love how the game plays. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. You're like, I really love the gameplay, but it's a shitty game. Like, what? That makes no sense. That's like saying you hate the gameplay of Tetris, but you love Tetris. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Now, where the fuck is this guy? Is he, like, in a cell? I think he's in a cell. You son of a bitch. Was that him? Is that him in there? Oh, fuck. I let him out, didn't I? Yeah. Again, it's like... I get it, right? Like, Mercenaries is the best part of 6. But it's literally nothing but gameplay. You can't tell me you hate a game if you love the gameplay. If you're like, the gameplay's the best. It's the best Mercenary mode ever. It's pure gameplay and it's best. But the game itself is shit. Like, it makes... To say the story shit. To say you don't like the story. I think most people don't say that they don't like the story because they don't want to sound pretentious or some shit. It's like, you sound more pretentious telling me that you hate the game but you love the gameplay. It makes no sense to me. I have no idea where this fucking regenerator is at, by the way. So he's gonna totally get the drop on me? Like that? And I'm gonna run all the way back here. Damn, four for four. But he has one on his back, are you kidding me? Can I just shoot him through the back? I think I can. Bam! Nope, I tried. I need you to... Sir, I need you to turn around for me. Ah, fucking shit, dude. Why you gotta put it on his back, man? Why you gotta put it on his back? trying to like shoot through him oh there we go dance with me you son of a bitch stop turning i need you to oh wait what i was so confused i missed i got one bullet left i can just run past you can i you're a pain in my ass one bullet, one bullet, one bullet. Fuck. I can't leave a regenerator walking around. It's bad. Can't believe we're really doing this shit. It's like Friday the 13th, the game. Just run around the fucking... Run around the goddamn couch. He can't stop you. Oh, you son of a bitch. You bastard. You motherfucker. I don't want to use my grenade on him. But I will if I have to. Bam! Gotcha. The generators are amazing, but... I fucking hate them so much. Like, that's the point. You're supposed to hate them. You're supposed to. Why are they giving me the camera angle so high? Is there anything in these cells? I don't want to open it and get it fucking attacked. <laughs> You're supposed to hate enemies in the game. Well, maybe not every enemy. Like, there are enemies that are supposed to be fun to fight, but the regenerators especially, you're supposed to hate them because they block your progress like a motherfucker. Can I just climb up here? Yeah, I can. All right, cool. Fuck it. I don't want to pick up whatever's there. I'd rather not risk it. Alright.
Is there a snake in here? Nope. Open a box, there's a snake, but it's solid snake. And he's like, Colonel! Metal Gear. Hey guys, how's it going? He's just, he's just, just hanging out. We having a good time. Having a good time. Even though I can clearly shoot you in your face, it won't count because you're wearing a helmet. Are you wearing a helmet? I don't think I. I don't need this right now. Ah! <laughs> Son of a bitch. He says, shoot first, motherfucker! I dare you! Nope. Oh, come on, man. You just throw a fucking axe at me, you bitch. Oh. I'm sorry? Oh, okay, I thought... I thought this motherfucker changed into like the full grow must clog us for a moment. I'm like, how? Well, that would be fucked up. Oh, come on. I know I shouldn't be using shotguns on one enemy, but like. Ah! You bitch! Eh, might as well. Fuck you. Man. Oh, Ryan, this is your favorite game? Really? Well, I, like, I want to make it very, very clear. This is not a full playthrough of RE. This is just me doing this because I need to beat this game so I can do a full playthrough of RE4. Because <laughs> I need to unlock the costumes. You can't do a playthrough of RE4 without having the costumes. Come on, man. It, it's, it's a disgrace. Stop shooting at me! So, I'm just, I'm just pretty much prepping the game for a future playthrough. That's all. Because Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake are on my channel if you want to watch those. I apologize for the audio for 3 Remake on the first part. Because I had my air conditioner on in the background. It was a hot summer's day. Motherfucker. My weed. Listen, there's... Oh, fuck. There's no way that the herbs they use are not weed. It's just... They crush them up. They put them in, like, paper half the time. Unless you're already six, then you make them into Tic Tacs. <laughs> and you shake them and you, you swallow them. Oh, come on, guys. There we go. Gotta get the other ones. No. Bad. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Good. Come on. He's changing. Look at him change. You sit the fuck down. There we go. Uh, no. Did I 100% 2 and 3? Um, I... On the playthroughs? No. 2 Remake and 3 Remake were blind playthroughs. Those two were blind playthroughs. Um, I did do Claire, uh, you know, Leon A, Claire B. So I did both of them. Leon's, I did in a playthrough style, and then Claire, it was like live streams. And honestly, <laughs> when you watch, when I finished Claire B, it was, um, it was, it was last year in January, so you can hear me and my friend talking about, like, so, man, what's this, like, weird virus going around in, like, fucking China and shit? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, my friend said he couldn't, like, get out of, get out of Hong Kong, like, easily because, like, there's some shit going on. 
And of course, that was the coronavirus, you know, back during simpler times. But like, just listening back to that, it's like, also, there's a, <laughs> there's a part in the playthrough where, um, cause here's the thing. I was streaming it off of the PS4 and I knew I probably shouldn't have done that, but I was just too lazy to hook up my capture card at the time. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, um, since stream through PS4, people have options to like not share their voice. One of my friends joined the party and then, uh, I was talking to him, but like he didn't share his voice. So his voice isn't in the recording. So, like, there's a moment where I'm just talking about, like, how bullshit Naruto is. <laughs> and it sounds like I'm just a fucking psychopath. Because I'm having a full-blown conversation with myself. Also, I would like to say the thumbnail artwork for, uh... Come on, man, just get down. The thumbnail artwork for, um... Resident Evil 2 was done by Mothman. And I thank him very graciously. Mothman Draws, you can follow him on Twitter. What's up? He used to stream. He doesn't stream no more. I don't know why he stopped. He used to stream Final Fantasy XIV. I loved it. Naruto is not a good anime. Well, let me take that back. Naruto is a good anime. All the way up to the Chasing Sasuke arc, and once that's done, that's the end of Naruto. Naruto Shippuden is good up to the pain stuff, and then once pain is gone, it's shit and you don't need to watch Naruto. It ends there. There's no need to watch the rest. Just no need. You follow Mothman? Oh. Yeah. It's great. I liked Naruto, I did, but it's terrible. It's just... God, it's bad. It's so bad. <laughs> like, it's not even, like... Like, after the parts with Pain, it doesn't even get to, like, good bad, like Bleach. Like, how you know Bleach is, like, just fucking terrible, but it's still fun to watch. But, like, Naruto is just a travesty. Like, after Pain, it's just terrible. I mean, even before Pain, it's kind of bad, too. But, like, at least you're like, yeah, whatever, man. At least you're still going for something. Doraemon is cool. I need to catch up on Doraemon. I remember I used to watch it. Doraemon's fun. I love Doraemon. They made a Story of Seasons game for Doraemon. I think it came out, like, the end of last year. Where the fuck is the other Switch? Is it this way? I'll be honest, I don't know where the other switch is at. Come on, man. Get suplexed. Yeah, a lot of anime fans were toxic. Which meant, like... I talked about it before in, like, a different stream, so I don't want to, like, rehash the conversation. But, uh... For people who are, like, watching VODs and shit. But, like, that's why it's so hard for me to get into anime. Like, I know you watch it for yourself and to enjoy it yourself. But it's hard to enjoy it yourself when when the fans have more of the say-so. And then they fucking control how the story plays out. It's like, why do you think why you think fucking Gohan's not not the main character of Dragon Ball no more at all? Like. Cause people cried that Goku died. Bring him back! I like Goku. It's like, come on, man. Ow. Where the fuck is the other switch? God damn it. I didn't mean to yell into the mic like that, but come on. I'm just fucking it up here. I'm just a huge fuck up. It's up here. It's up here somewhere. And I just can't find it because I'm blind as a bat. Oh wait, no. Fuck. What am I doing? God. In my mind, I, you know what? In my mind, I was thinking, no, it's a panel on the wall that I'm looking for. I thought there were two panels on the wall, then I press that, then the door opens. And the door's this way. I just really fucked that up. 
Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Open up, bitches. But yeah, it's just like... Like, that's why it's so hard for me to get into anime. When I get into anime, I have to... Before I watch anything that's mainstream, I have to find something that's on a smaller scale so I can just be like, Oh, this is a nice little treat for me. Like, the last thing I watched that was, like, on a smaller scale was, uh... Science, science types fell in love, so they try to prove it. I was like, oh, this is so nice and stupid, and I love it. Star Wars fans are... They're not that bad. They're not as bad as anime fans for me. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. New Star Wars is New Star Wars is eh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a disappointment. I will say that. All right, man. You're going crazy now. This I'm not going to repeat what you just said in that chat, but you're going crazy. With that said, that that fucking anime did actually win awards. And here's the thing. I like my hero. Well, I liked my hero. Again, until the fans came and changed it all. It's like minor spoilers for my hero because it's been like, what, half a year or like a full year since they showed it off in the manga. And I'm pretty sure the anime went into it. But it's like, oh man, did you know that Midoriya has the possibility to learn like six new quirks? And I'm like, oh, come on, man. I don't need a fucking power level anime no more. Move. It was just, it was just, you know, it was like, here's your ability, use your ability to the best of your abilities and fucking outsmart the other guy. It literally was just like, hey man, Jojo, more action though, no stands, unless you're, unless you're fucking Tokoyami, because Dark Chateau is basically a fucking stand. Dark Shadow is basically Black Sabbath. <laughs> That's all he is. Also, total hipster move here, but I feel like saying it because I need to flex. Totally was a fan before uh, of JoJo before it got popular. Was totally there, man. I played the Sega game, the fighting game, and then fucking... I played the other fighting game, All-Stars Battle. All-Stars Battle is like, it's a fun fighting game, but that game is broken as fuck. I did a fuck, I did a, uh, <laughs> I did a, uh, I did a Marvel marathon, and then after that I did a Star Wars marathon, and watching the movies. Dude, the way they kill off Darth Vader is so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. It's like, and then it's even more funny if you read, like, the comics and shit. Where it's all like, Darth Vader was like, broken and destroyed, and he had to re-repair his legs and shit like that. And then like, in the last movie, fucking, he gets a little zappy. A little bit of some zaps. And then he's all like, Luke, I'm dying. It's fucking hilarious. Those movies do not hold up at all. Also, it's really funny when you see them use the blasters, because it's obviously someone going like, Just shake the blaster and pretend it's firing, guys! Because, like, they'll shoot the beams, and it won't even line up with the way the blaster is facing. Oh, man. And say what you want about the prequels, but let's be honest, that, chore that choreography was great. Especially the part where fucking Obi-Wan and Anakin are fighting, and then they just start twirling their lightsabers in front of each other for no reason for, like, a good five seconds. They don't even attack, they just start twirling their lightsabers in front of each other. Oh man, it's so good. Yeah, but Anakin versus Obi-Wan, that's the most hypest fight ever. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I don't care. I don't care if you don't like prequels, this is great. Turn Padme against me! But Padme, I did this for- Ah! Oh! Motherfucker, how'd you get up so fast, you bitch? the hell out of here, Mad Max. Oh, damn, your armor protected you somehow from that. Come on. 
I missed. Oh. Uh. There you go. You're fine. Yeah, I know it was made in the in the 70s, in the 80s, 70s, whatever. I mean, it's fine, right? I'm not saying it's a bad movie, but it's just hilarious. Follow me. It's hilarious when you when you like look at all the shit that they build off of it. Also, I like Star Wars, but for real though, every fucking new Star Wars thing that comes out, not counting the new trilogy, it's just like, let's talk about the past. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Stop talking about the past. Also, yeah, Darth Vader. No! <laughs> I love it. You killed her. <laughs> what happened to Padme? You killed her in your rage. No! <laughs> fucking idiot. Wasn't the comics like, hey man, uh, what's her, uh, Ray? Was it, uh, no, it wasn't Ray. It was Anakin came to life because fucking Palpatine force willed it or whatever the fuck. I'm sorry, did I not? Dude, I skipped the cutscene, didn't I? Did I skip the cutscene? I think I did. I think without thinking, I skipped the cutscene. What? What were they doing to her? Oh. Uh. Don't try and have the high ground. Leon, can you get up the fucking st Oh my god. Leon! Fucking tank controls, man! Give me some of that red kush. I love it. <laughs> what happened to Padme? You killed her in your rage. <laughs> also, let's be honest, Palpatine's plan could have been completely foiled during the moment where they go to kill Dooku. Because, well, when they go to capture Dooku, um, not kill him. Because <laughs> Anakin just has Dooku, like, dead to rights, and then he's like, do it. And then Dooku goes like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's like, what? I just signed up for this shit. Oh wait a minute! I'm a Sith. I should have should expect this. It's like if the if part of being a Sith is to uh is to fuck over your master's plan to get one up over him and rank up, wouldn't you instantly just be like, "Don't kill me, Anakin! It's part of his plan. <laughs> Don't do it. He's evil. He's Palpatine. He's the other Sith Lord." Just instantly rat him out. That's what I would do. I'd just be like, "No, nah, come on, man. <laughs> Don't do it." He said, I ain't dying no snee I itch. Come on. <laughs> like, what? Isn't there something I gotta, like, activate or some shit? Am I crazy? I think I'm going crazy. I'm going insane. Stop. Ah, fucking. These corners. They're pissing me out. Or do I just walk out? I just walk out, right? Ashley, did it? Did you not go through the door with me? Let's go, Ashley. Let's go, baby girl. I got you. Don't worry. Also, look at this grenade. It's beautiful. Go back. But I got, I got beautiful things that I need to come and grab. Wasn't there something else out here? All right. question you mean go back from where i'm at right now or did the or did you or did the uh fucking okay just want to make sure that the stream wasn't like lagging behind or anything because i i can never tell i can never tell what the stream delay is for people where the merchant was what what so this way right like like this way Right. I work. I was at the mer oh. Am I crazy? Ugh. I'm 
I'm having a I'm having a fucking moment. I'm gonna be honest. I'm having a real stupid moment right now. I'm not even gonna hide it. I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm not being completely stupid right now. I just really don't know. Go back to the merchant. Where the f I have a map. What the hell am I doing? Fucking map. I'm a fucking idiot. I completely forgot that I just had a map that I can just use at any point in time. Alright, see, I was confused because, like, I wasn't paying attention to the cutscene with Ada, and in my mind, I'm like, we already took the Los Plagas out of her. I trust you, Ashley. Right. I know you won't kill me. Here goes nothing. And if you hear the... And I know you can hear the Lost Plagas inside my body with those giant elephant ears of yours. Those cute elephant ears. They really did not need to give her so much jiggle physics. That was unnecessary. All right. Guess I have Ashley is cute. I like her. Like even Luis gets all up in her grill. He's all like, I didn't know the president's equipped his daughter with such ballistics. And she's like, excuse me. Eyes up here. Hey, hey. Eyes up here, jackass. You okay? Oh no, she's 20. Dude, I just, like, here's the thing. I, I honestly just, I said it earlier today, but I honestly just want an animated series of fucking Resident Evil 4 just so I can watch, like, Ashley and Leon interact. That's it. That's all it is. That's the only thing I want. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, like, ship them or anything, but, like, I want them to just interact with each other more. <laughs> like, he interacts with her more than he ever did with Sherry. And that's facts. You know it's facts. Yeah, the chemistry in this game is 100%. I like it. Alright, Ashley. Because I have zero use for it, can I just, like, feed it to you? No. Damn it. Sorry, Ashley. I have so many yellow herbs. <laughs> it's ridiculous. feed her. I'm not gonna do her. I'm, wow. That came out wrong. I'm gonna say I'm not gonna do that. I said I'm not gonna do her. What the fuck? That was a complete slip up. I'm gonna say I'm not gonna do that to her, but then I just skipped like two words. Ashley's cool. I like Ashley. I wish Ashley showed up more in later games, but you know, everyone hated her. Mainly because they tied her to escort shit. That and and I understand if people don't like her screaming. Because they did kind of drag that out a little bit. Where like, you're so close to her and she's all like, Leon, help! And she doesn't shut up. But that doesn't bother me too much, especially when you played fucking... Fucking, uh, Yoshi's Island. And you gotta deal with baby Mario's crying bitch ass. Yeah. Where? Where? Shut up. <laughs> Fucking shut up. I'm not even your father. No more regenerators come from this point. This is just straight up to the boss, right? So I can just sell the infrared scoop. I mean, there's really no reason for me to sell the infrared scoop, but I don't, I don't want it. Ah, I buy it at a high price. <laughs> Stranger. Sometimes when I'm by myself, I just laugh like the merchant. Because it's buying? so fun. What are you buying? <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> Not one rocket launcher. 
but double rocket launchers. Stranger. Salazar was yeah. I saved the rocket launcher all the way up to Salazar. Salazar's the small, the small dude, right? He's the man baby, right? Yeah, he is. Okay, cool. Cause fuck, there's Sadler and there's Salzer. Sadler and Salzar, whatever the fuck. Don't know why they named them both the same thing. But I saved the rocket launcher all the way up to him. Cause I said, fuck that, man. You know the one you get in the castle? For like free? I said, I'm just holding on to that shit. I'm not dealing with him. <laughs> Stranger. I know, I know Ada gives me one, but I want two. You want to push? You just kick him. <laughs> just kick him. Let him fall over. Yeah, I want two rocket launch. I. What else am I gonna spend my points on? I don't got shit to spin it on. I up. I upgraded everything I want to upgrade. I'm not gonna buy Killer Seven because there's really no need to. Because I upgraded the broken butterfly. At this point, it's worthless to buy Killer Seven. And like, I can't even buy fucking the spray or anything. So like, that's all I got. Right? It's might as well. Go out with a bang, right? It's a victory lap. <laughs> Stranger. You stay here. They got the new merchant in fucking Resident Evil Village, but he's not but he's like he's a big, like jovial fella. So he's definitely gonna laugh and have some interactions and stuff, but he's not. But there's just something about the merchant in this game, like you know, a little bit of creepy, a little bit of, a little bit of you know, he's like your greased up uncle that drinks too much, and he's like, <laughs> wanna buy off of me? You okay? I've been better. Shut up, Ada. I've been better. He never asks your name. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't, I know. He's just like, oh, that's my, uh, that's my daughter's boy. He never asks your name. Just like your real uncle would. That's nasty, man. But at least I know your throat game is strong. Can I just say I really love in Resident Evil 6 how like Simmons just bodies a whole entire train. <laughs> He's just like, it's fucking weird. Emergency locking down the elevator. Oh boy! Get the fuck out of here. The fuck you think this is? Get the fuck out of here. Huh! Victory lap. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. I gotta shoot him in the eye, right? The big glowy bit. Isn't there, like... Can I knock him off with the crane or some shit, right? Or something like that? I don't remember. Do it! Get the fuck out of here. Huh. Gotta go. Oh, fuck me. A big boy. Gotcha. Hey, 
There you go. You know, Leon, why don't you just, when you stick the knife in there, why don't you just twist it a little? Oh, come on. Nope. Let me back up. Oh, you bitch. Now, can I redo the levers or not? I don't think I can. Yeah, you can't? Alright. He's gonna jump over. He's gonna jump right on top of me. Alright, come over here. Oh! You son of a bitch! Turn around, big boy. I can't even aim. Oh, fuck! Come on! He gave me no reaction time for that! Oh, I also got a grenade. I forgot about this. Do the fire grenades affect them? I don't think they do. Do flash and fire f affect them? Fire, they both, oh shit. Oh, he closed his eyes by the way, I wasn't paying attention. Did that get him though? I don't think that would, okay. Flash is more reliable than the fire. Ow, did you just like, dude. Just a sucker for every type of damage. Don't want him to close his eyes. So he closes his eyes, but he doesn't... I guess I didn't hit the back eyes. Nope, he's just like... He's just like, nah, I'm not having it, dude. He's like, nope. There you go. Just twist the knife. Just twist it a little bit. Just get it in there. Damn, dude. Okay, I'm about to say, how many times I gotta fucking stab you? Use this! I painted it especially for you! Come on! Come on! He's... he's gonna fuck me. Ah! Yeah! That's okay! That's no fair. I wish I had a super jump. Mom, how come Hanzo gets two dragons? <laughs> Where you got with Teki no Kure? <laughs> oh shit. Where the hell is it? Where'd you throw it, Ada? Ada, where'd you throw it? Throw it back. Oh fuck. Ow, man. Give, give me some space. Where the fuck does she throw it? Don't tell me it's on the other platform. I'm gonna be so mad. It's behind me. The fuck? Like this way? It's not glowing! It's supposed to glow! Okay. You said the other way. I'll head the other way. Is it on the fucking platform? It's on the platform? Excuse me, sir. Give me some space. Oh, it's on the other platform. Fuck. Just give me some space, big boy. Oh, here it is. Fuck. Leon, I can't- Fuck! I thought you was gonna get me, big boy, but you missed. Time for you to handle the VOC. Yeah. My man turned around. He said, "Is that an insta kill?" Oh fuck! He is pretty fucking easy, especially when you have a bunch of points, <laughs> and you just save up a bunch of shit. Oh, come on. We're not doing this dance again, Ada. 
We did this before, and then we made out. And then somehow, you know the fucking, the, what is it? The lore of Resident Evil is like when Ada drops the cure in two, fucking Wesker's just down there and he picks it up. <laughs> what? You know, I would really like if Mike was a double agent and he faked his death and he's like, I'm here, Leon, sorry. But that's not Mike. It'll never be Mike. You're fucked up! She really pushed it. Here, He's like, catch. you really did that shit. Oh my god. Better get a move on. See you around. Listen, I should really skip the cutscene so the timer doesn't walk with me. <laughs> Very cute. Stop staring at it and run, you idiot! You fucking moron! <sighs> I need my money. Got it. Leon, you think you do more than a fucking saunterly jog? <sighs> Ashley gets jealous. She does. She totally does. But I think what's more funny than that is that is at the end. It's gonna what? <laughs> I'm just imagining the guy from SpongeBob with his ice cube. He's like, you what? <laughs> um, but yeah, fucking. Why the fuck did I take that out? Big boy style. Fucking, um, <laughs> like what's really more funny than Ashley getting jealous is that, uh, is that <laughs> after she acts, she's like, hey, wanna head back with me, Leon? He's like, no. And then Hunnigan calls and he's like, yo, Hunnigan, wanna fuck? And then Hunnigan's like, no, <laughs> you idiot. Like, it's so hilarious. Like, literally right in front of Ashley 2, the second after she axed. She's like, no, I don't wanna. And then Hunnigan's like, good job, Leon. He's like, no, Hunnigan, <laughs> you wanna fuck? And she's like, no, you fucking moron. Did you know that both Meryl and Otacon was on the jet ski at the end of Metal Gear? <laughs> fucking stupid. They were both on the jet ski. <laughs> Not Jesse, what is it called? Snowmobile, whatever the fuck, you know? Oh shit! Punch it! I'm totally gonna fuck this up, by the way. Huh! I almost got hit by that, too. Uh, come on! Come on! Ah, uh, I can't see! Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> How to catch up with me? I did nothing but accelerate. I'll be honest, I did nothing but accelerate. I didn't even hit the rock yet. Prepare for me to fuck this up like five more times. Look at that airtime. Forget your cutscene. Come on. There we go. There we go. Made it out. It's just memorizing. I mean, I didn't really hit anything. I was accelerating the whole time. The water just caught up to me. <laughs> she falls in the water. I forgot. You fucking loser. All the girls are wet when around Leon. I know that pitiful screech anywhere. It's Ashley. Mission accomplished, right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. 
just listen to it. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Yo, Hunnigan, what a fuck? <laughs> like, no one has sex in the Resident Evil universe ever. Mr. Kennedy. Oh, man. It's a good game. Good game. It's a good game. I still... I still won't call it a masterpiece like other people will because there are some fucking flaws, but, you know. Resident Evil's always pretty good with the music. I like it. It's great. <laughs> so after this fucking... What happens after Resident Evil 4? Is 5 directly after 4? Isn't there something in the middle of that? Is it... Is it Revelations? Is Revelations after 5? It can't be, right? Can it? Hmm, 5 is next. 5 is weird. I dread the day for when I have to make, like, my play through a five because there's just you don't play that game solo get the fuck out of here with that you don't play that game solo unless you want your fuck unless you want a brain dead ai partner who just uses up everything god you would think they would kind of fix that up in the re-releases for that but they never did <laughs> fucking ai sheva AI Chris, you motherfuckers, I hate you. Who was Sheva's fucking, um, like, mentor? Was What was his name? I feel like it was, like, Jacob or something. I can't remember. Is it, like, Jacob or David or something like that? Something, I forgot. That guy's super cool. He makes it out. Every time he comes on screen, you're like, I can't wait for you to die, because you might die. And then he doesn't. He never does. He's great. I think he gets his own DLC, or you play as him in, like, the mercenary mode or some bullshit. I don't remember. Guy's cool, though. I like him. Alright. So. I don't want to sit here and watch credits. I'm gonna be honest. But... I'm afraid of skipping them because I think the scene with Hunnikin is after this. <laughs> and I don't want to skip that scene. <laughs> Leon's like, yo, Hunnikin, what a fuck? <laughs> She's like, no, you loser. Yeah, from a timeline perspective, yeah, I'm trying to think like... Did Revelations come bef before or five in between? And after four. Because I'm not sure. Man, Jill's fucking cool as shit. I'm sorry, I love Jill. Jill's amazing. They fucked her up in goddamn R vs. Capcom 3. I don't know why they made her that way. They should have just kept the old Jill playstyle. And like Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Where she summons like dogs and zombies and shit. It's great. I love it. Characters and events depicted in this game are fictitious. You psychopaths. Hunnigan, is that you? Finally, the line's jack free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know, you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> he's like Ashley's like Yo Leon wanna fuck? He's like no Ew 
And he's like, oh, honey, let me get that number. She's like, no, you fucking loser. So I definitely got like the lowest rank possible. I died 17 times. <laughs> In Resident Evil 2 Remake, I did manage to get the uh, unlimited um, handgun. It was great. I did that shit. It was amazing. But the main thing you get for beating the game, which is what I want. Now you can buy an infinite launcher and the militia from the merchant. The Matilda. It's beautiful. I love it. It's the DLC in 5, so the one where you play as uh, Chris and Chris and fucking Jill in the mansion before she gets all parasited up. Before Wesker goes super creepy, he's all like, I'm gonna put a giant parasite right between her tits. And I'm gonna make her dye her hair blonde. Yeah, because I like it like that. And it's like, Wesker, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm a chef, chef too.